But like, you were a child. <laughs> Again, what, what did you think you're gonna get your shit on? I just kept going. Oh. <laughs> It's happening again. <laughs> and you're wearing the, the swimsuit that has like the mesh thing inside of it. Is <laughs> I looked like I was clamming when you took it. <laughs> Shut up! Stop adding details, you dick! I'm actually crying. And I was oh like, well, when I'm okay, can I come play Nintendo with you? And you're like, no, maybe you should just stay over there. It's time to hack the movies with Tony and Newt and Johanna. Hello, Tony. I see you have these tapes here, and I would very much like to purchase them. Sounds great, Newt. If only I could get my cards out of my stupid dumb wallet. Well, you should have a smart wallet, like the kind made by Exter. It's thin and covered in premium leather. It even has a button that can pop out your cards with ease. It's saying my bank account is empty. Apparently I bought a new car. Here are the keys to your car, Mr. Newt Wallen. Thanks. That's a shame. Someone probably used RFID skimming to steal your identity. I don't have that problem because Exter wallets have RFID protection. Now I can't even find my stupid idiot wallet. Gee, that's too bad. This wallet comes with a solar powered Bluetooth tracker. When it's missing, I can activate the tracker using the app and it will start ringing. I can also use the tracker to find my phone. Wow, Tony, that all sounds great. Sadly, I was just robbed blind. But if I did have any money, where could I find an extra wallet? You can go to the link in the description of this video and get a discount today. Hello, Newt. Oh, hey, Tony. You know what we do a lot? We, we talk about tapes. We do. We talk about the 80s and 90s and retro films. 1600s. We're, we're, we're living in the past. We are. Is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And you know what? We got to join the modern world. We have to talk about modern things, except for Boss Baby 2. We have to talk <laughs> Never about- Never talk about Boss Baby We don't too. talk about Boss Baby 2 <laughs> ever again. But I think we need to catch up with what mm -hmm. the young kids are watching, minus Boss Baby 2. Yeah. So I found something called Fear Street. The first one takes place in 1994. <laughs> so good, it's a brand new thing, but it it's, is, yeah. it's still in our wheelhouse. On uh, Netflix. On Netflix, Based yes. on the R.L. Stein young adult novels. Which I was not familiar with. No, Crystal told me all about them. Uh, she uh, she was telling me to watch the first one a couple weeks ago, and I, I didn't do it until today. I don't have time to watch. Uh, thank God we're reviewing this. Yeah. Or I would not have watched this. I'm trying to think, like, what new things have I watched that I didn't review? Uh, the, yeah, it, 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 we usually just watch things so that we could talk about them online. I was going to watch Conjuring 3, and then I was like, wait, I need to be caught up to date. Mm -hmm. So I watched every Conjuring spinoff, yeah. all three Annabelles, mm -hmm. the the Nun, Yayarona, uh, and then I was like, all right, tomorrow I'll get to Conjuring 3, and then it was no longer on HBO Max. Well, you saw what happened to me when I watched The Conjuring 3. I heard the devil made you he do it. He did make me do it, yeah. <laughs> Reminder, we're doing YouTube shorts now. Check out our YouTube shorts. Uh, so uh, yeah, I, Oh, Luca. Oh, wait, no, I reviewed Luca on Trisha's did. channel. Yeah. So yes, I haven't watched a new movie just I watched watch. Conjuring 3 because I was supposed to be on somebody else's podcast. Then it got canceled. Then they never called me back. So I was like, oh, all right. Well, it shows that my stock hasn't risen <laughs> since being on the show. Uh, I, I, was, I never got into Goosebumps. I like the idea of Goosebumps. Yeah. I was the right age for it as a kid. I had a bunch of the books. Uh, my girlfriend collects a bunch of the books. Yeah. Which I should have brought, but they're I, all in a box. I still never learned how to read. So. One day. One yeah, day. Yeah, one day. Um, uh, I was more of a uh, Are You Afraid of the Dark kid. That was yeah, me too. I, I remember the show, the uh, the Goosebumps show. I this, I saw the two movies. Mm -hmm. I remember when Fear Street was out because we used to get those things. It was like, uh, do you remember like the Scholastic book yeah, thing yeah, yeah. and you could order out of that. I remember when Fear Street was a thing for that. I loved the cover art for all mm -hmm. of them. 
Um, but I had no idea what we were getting into for this. Now, uh, Justin was going to be in this review. Yeah, we said, hey, we're doing Fear Street. He's like, I'm he, very excited. I know a lot about this. But then it turned out that he actually was thinking of Dream Street, the 90s boy band. So he was like, no review, I refuse. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So now we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. Yes. The first one. 1994. 1994. I was in fifth grade. Yes. I was four or five, depending mm-hmm. on what month it was. <laughs> and because I didn't know how to read, I was in fifth grade and I was 44 years old. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it opens up at the mall. Yeah. And shout out to them. It did feel like a 90s mall. Like, I... I didn't realize how nostalgic I got because you don't read. You can't yeah. relate. Mm-hmm. But uh, seeing a bookstore in a mall yeah. that's not Barnes & Noble, mm-hmm. like a smaller one. It, it was B. Like, Dalton. Huh? B. Dalton B. was Dalton? where she worked. Yeah. It looked like a Walden books, mm-hmm. which yeah. I'm like, oh, my God, Walden books. Uh, so I miss like little bookstores you mm-hmm. can get in the mall. Even the uh, signage had the proper like that 80s coming into the 90s kind of look to it. Yes. Where they were still transitioning things yeah. a little bit with the neon. And it, it was Maya Hawk, right? It, yeah, it was Uma Thurman's I, daughter. I didn't realize it was Maya Hawk. Mm-hmm. And I was like, that girl looks familiar. And then you said, it, I'm like, oh, son of a bitch. There yeah. We go. Uh, so yeah, she's. And there's all kinds of uh, little Stephen King things around in yeah. the bookstore, which comes into the next one as well. I love uh, she calls her friend who works at a neighboring store in the mall and it's basically Spencer's gifts and it looks like Spencer's yeah. gifts. A little bit more neon. But uh, yeah, <laughs> there's a there's a fake out scare mm-hmm. at the beginning. He scares her with a blow up doll. And I think we have the same blow up doll. We got you a gift. Uh, Justin. Wait, is ours a man blow up ours doll? Ours is a man blow up doll. We yeah, went to we went to then. a uh, a place in Allentown, Pennsylvania that was closing down that had been there for like forty years, mm. and uh, it was a costume shop. Crystal bought like a million costumes. Joe Lascola and Justin and I went, and they mm. had like an adult section, and they had an inflatable man, and mm. we got it for you as a gift, and you've never taken it out of the packaging. I'm waiting for a special. Okay, we also got you all of the uh, the Suicide Squad Joker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah he got me the tattoos and uh the 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 fake teeth thank you you didn't have to put damage on your forehead because people already know but i'm just they're saying. aware they're aware some would say you don't have to put damage on the joker's forehead that's true people already know yeah, but whatever know. whatever enough about the joker <laughs> uh so we get a we get an attack right away yeah, sort of. Uh, After the the boy, he's gonna drive the girl home, but he goes back to the store. But he hears someone say his name. Mm-hmm. What? I didn't say anything, weirdo. And then there's an attack. There is an attack, and it's it's Ghostface, is it not? It's Skullface. It's Skullface. <laughs> I do like uh, the costume's cool though, because it's like Donnie Darko's outfit, but with like a yeah Halloween three mask. And there's a really cool shot where she goes into the. Uh, not Spencer's. Yeah. Spencer's. <laughs> and uh, there's the ma- she, there's Halloween masks all over the place because it takes yeah. place in the beginning of uh, October. And there's like three of the same mask all lined up. And as she goes by, one steps out. Yes. And that kind of reminded me of what I wish that scene in, uh, what was the movie we watched with, with Trisha? I know what you did last summer. I know what you did last summer. Oh, when he's, yeah. Should have been like that, and she gets attacked. It kind well, of I was re- saying it looked like Scream 3. I believe it was Scream 3 when they're in the movie studio, mm-hmm. and, like, the ghost face killers hiding with all the ghost yeah. face costumes. Because, yeah, 2 was in the movie theater, and it was just a, a, a ripoff of the He Knows You're Alone opening scene. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, it re- the opening reminded me of uh, Scream, mm-hmm. where you kill off the most known person in the cast in the first 10 minutes. I guess she Hey, is. she was in, she was on The Stranger Things. In this particular entry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she was the most known. And she was in, uh, she was in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I still haven't seen it. Oh, really? It's fucking great. I heard Lena Dunham was in it, and I'm like, She's hard, only in one scene. Hard yeah. pass. Hard pass. Sorry, Tarantino. Hard pass. All right. I just, I just don't need to I, die. She plays one of the Manson girls, though, and it, so it kind of makes, it plays into the, well, these people are all fucking cuckoo birds anyway. Well, if you so. want to ruin Manson's reputation, implying that he has that bad a taste is a way to do it. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, He's so dead she, now. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> so she gets attacked. She gets stabbed. I like she fakes him out with the blow up doll. Mm-hmm. So good use of the blow up doll. Yeah. Uh, other people in the mall have been killed. Yep. 
Uh, but it turns out it's her friend. Oh my God. And then the sheriff shows up and blows his brains out. <laughs> Pretty quick movie, if you ask yeah. me. Yeah. Uh, really good opening credit sequence. Yes, that it's got a very 90s feel to it. It also has like little things that remind me of like the covers of the paperbacks and like right. the insides and stuff is really cool. But also it's taking you backwards. So this movies that you're going to get. Because this trilogy is moving backwards. Mm -hmm. And I, and I yeah, wasn't sure how that was going to work. Like, mm -hmm. again, because I had zero interest in seeing this. Um, I was like, I don't know how this is going to work. And then it's actually like, when you get to those beats, you're like, oh, okay, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So the opening credits are going backwards. And mm -hmm. then we meet uh, Dina and her brother, Josh. Yeah. And Dina is the first girl that sounds like she's slurring. Yes. In the in the series. Mm -hmm. I hope everyone in the last one is it's slurring. Just slurring. She yeah. just sounds like she's slurring. I mm -hmm. don't know what it is. Maybe it's like the accent that she's trying to do, but I'm Where like, is this supposed to take place? Any town USA. Okay. Well, they're in Shady Side. Shady Side. That's one of the things in the uh, opening intro. They're like, more crime is happening in Shady Side. While Sunnyvale, not the trailer park from Trailer Park, yeah. Boys, while Sunnyvale is enjoying thirty years with no violent crime, it's like, <laughs> all right, there's something, yeah, something going on there. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the brother Josh is on Instant Messenger. Yeah, I don't remember this version of Instant Messenger being around in the 90s. in the nineties. No, no, this seemed like late nineties, early two thousands. Instant Messenger. Well, so a lot of the music too did, was didn't hadn't come out by nineteen ninety four. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I do like the music, though. Soundtrack's so. great. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so he's talking to someone about an evil witch. Yeah. This town has an evil witch. They're mm -hmm. real into their evil witch. Uh, yeah, we get the breathe in, breathe, breathe out, out, breathe in, breathe, breathe in, followed out. by, damn, I wish I was your love. <laughs> My notes are mostly the songs <laughs> that play. Uh, yeah, so the whole town is obsessed with the witch mm -hmm. to the point that Shady Side's team is called the Witches. And then I was like, okay, so the other team is called the Devils. Mm -hmm. And we live, I live, grew up in South Jersey, but mm -hmm. New Jersey's pro hockey team is called the Devils. Yeah. And they're not named after the Judean, Judeo Christian no. version of the Devil. They're named after the crypto zoological entity, the Jersey Devil. Yeah. But religio people, are always like, you need to change it. It's promoting Satanism. And it's like, no, it's not. It's not the same thing. Plus, the devil's not real because, you know, whatever. I'm, well, well, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry with his anti-religious propaganda. We all know the devil is real. And you have to be wary of him. And Well, to be fair, the greatest trick he ever played was making mankind believe that he didn't exist. He's on this show like multiple times. <laughs> the devil has shown up literally on the Remember that one time he danced? In front of me and Trisha, he forced you to watch Conjuring 3. No, that was a dude in a mask. No, that was the devil. And remember, the real... the, remember the devil reviewed Devil's Advocate with you. And oh. that wasn't me that whole time. Oh, my God. So you, you, I can't believe. You know what? I take it all back. I'm giving my life to the Lord. Yeah, Newt's liberal propaganda. He knows the devil's real. He's hung out with the devil I'm on like, this show. I'm like Scully. Like, I've <laughs> seen aliens, but I go, well. Um, yeah, so they're they're called the witches, which I yeah. think is a little. But, uh, yeah, like, that that wouldn't happen. Like, there, there's no team called the, de there's, like, the Sun Devils in Arizona. But, like, high school but, teams, yeah. they constantly have to change their names because somebody gets all fucking. It was the 90s before that. Yeah, but st uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, before that, because like so even tainted. yeah, we are because like <laughs> they made like they keep changing names of things, and then like people who are in that marginalized group are like, we don't really have a problem with it. I uh, in high school, I was a father judge crusader. Yeah, nothing wrong with the crusades, right? No, the pope said they were okay <laughs> as long as the pope says it's cool. <laughs> I, was like, I remember looking up, like, learning about the Crusades. I'm like, I don't know if these are the people we want to name. Yeah, the Ottoman Empire. They also didn't, like, do that well. Yeah, the Ottoman Empire is like, can I speak to your manager, please? <laughs> <laughs> They're not around. Yeah, anymore. not anymore. Neither are the Crusaders. Exactly. So <laughs> chivalry is dead. That's right. Anyway. Um, do you ever see, I have the t-shirt that says the uh, the Caucasians, oh, and it's yeah, the it's Washington like, football team, but it's with a white guy's face You know what's funny? It. People thought that was going to make white people angry. I'm like, you don't care. Some No, white people care. Some people pretend to care because they I was at a I was at a bar in Philly that was kind of like a, like, 
Again, like I've said before, I, I consider myself more of a left person, but there are people on the we're all aware. But there are people on the left who make me go, man, I should just go full blown Why right. Don't you just stay neutral and apolitical like me? Oh, okay. Okay. Everyone who you're friends with is on the wrong side what of history. What are you talking about? Man. I have very good <laughs> friends. I have my Latinx friend Royce. Mm -hmm. I have my handy capable friend Crippled Jesus. I'm friends with very nice, my, my other Latinx friend, Dick Masterson. I have a very diverse group of friends, but that's not what we're here to talk about. What we're here to talk about is insane in the membrane, insane in the brain. <laughs> that's another song. That was, uh, yeah. Also, the school is like really into murder and I thought it was weird at first, but then it's like, this is what the town's known for. Yeah. It's like, oh yeah, every uh, couple decades, someone goes nuts and murders a bunch of people. And it's like, it's like a thing. It's yeah. like, I don't, why do you guys like move? Like, what do you don't mean? mess with tradition. It reminds me of it, where the whole town is in on it, and they mm -hmm. know that there's this clown that can uh, take them. And it's like, yeah. why don't you guys? It doesn't seem like he has a range. Like, well, he seems like he has a range. Just yeah, just move. It's like everybody in like the town that Silent Hill is based on. Yeah, they were like, bye. And there's like a handful of people who stay there. Yeah, or like, why don't they say to the kids in it? Because I rewatched the first it not too long yeah. ago. And I'm like, yo, at a certain point, they say to like the kids, like, hey, every 27 years, this is going to happen. Yeah. And then they go, oh, okay. And then everybody knows ahead but, of like, time. Just, just move. Just move. What if it's like parts of Alaska where they pay you to live there? I don't think so. I don't think that's it because some of them are poor. Remember, there's like a poor town in it. Yeah. <sighs> Neither of those movies established that it was laying eggs. That is the threat yes. to it. The problem mm -hmm. is... He's laying eggs to make more it's, mm -hmm. and that's why they have to kill him. But they leave that out of both movies. So both movies, it's like, just go away from the town. Yeah. It doesn't seem like he's going to follow you. Why are you all people? Why isn't anybody talking to the galactic turtle? Why isn't he doing more about this? We don't have time to talk about okay. galactic turtle. Okay, because I have a confession to make. I'm a creep. I'm a weirdo. That's another song. We in this. were uh, we were at uh, Justin and Marshall and Kieran and I went to this bar near my house and mm. they do karaoke there. Yeah. And we walked in. It's real country in there, you know, yeah. and we're like, oh, no. And then like there was very this, friendly and polite. Yeah, sure. And then this like young black girl got up there and did three songs. She did Creep. She did Xanadu and she did Ace of Spades by Motorhead. And everyone in the bar was super confused, but the three of us sitting there, we were like, yeah, this is fucking awesome. And then, uh, Kieran- I mean, I do do the Humpty Dance and I know. Clips of the Heart, yeah, so I, know. I don't have room to talk. But, uh, and then Kieran went up and did, uh, uh, <laughs> he did Killing in the Name, uh, and the whole bar was like, what's happening now? Like <laughs> also, during these opening scenes, we find out that Dina had a relationship and it didn't go well. No. She hates Sam. Yeah. Uh, but she think... is forced to go to the candlelight vigil. Mm -hmm. uh, the football team and the band all have to go. Yeah. For some reason. Uh, in the uh, neighboring town. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they're they there. And she sees Sam, her ex girlfriend. Girl. Oh my god. Why was that even a reveal in a Netflix? Like, like Netflix, we know you're going to do that. Yeah. Like, again, it's kind of like Black Widow turning Taskmaster to woman. It's like, it's almost more shocking if you didn't. Exactly. But they want it to be like this big surprise. And it's like, Netflix, you personally have trained us to like not care about that. Be like, all right, whatever, they're lesbian. Yeah. yeah. But the fact that they wanted to like get you with it, I'm like, oh, okay. I mean, I guess it's weird for 1994. Not to, really. Not really. That was Gen X. Depending on what part of the country you lived in, maybe. Uh, yeah, so they wanted that to be like a big gotcha. But like, yeah, I guess like I was in fifth grade, 1993, 1994. That was like when I first met like the first openly gay person that like I knew. You know, like wow. people who I'd known before turned out, I found out later were gay, but never said anything about it. People were more open with everyone yeah. at that point. So I was like, oh yeah, it's not a big it's funny. fucking I grew, deal. I grew up around so many gay people. My neighbor was gay. Uh, he didn't admit to Justin. it. Justin. Yeah, he didn't admit to it, but it's just like, when that guy you say is your nephew is clearly not your nephew. And like, we, we know. Bruce and Wayne that, and Dick Grayson. Yes. Uh, <laughs> not to stereotype, but my mom did play softball and 
There were, uh, we had a lot of house parties. Well, hold on. Your mom played softball and got you really into Melissa Etheridge. Have you ever asked her why things Oh, many didn't, times. Why things didn't work out many with Many times. I think she just likes the lifestyle, but not actually. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I, I look really good in flannel. What am I going to do? <laughs> but I remember like having parties where it's like, wow, my mom has a lot of lady friends here who were hugging their other lady friends. And like, I didn't understand at the time. And well, then I got older. I'm like, hey, I grew up around a lot of lesbians, I guess. And you grew up to look like one. So I there you go. Like they influenced me a lot. Anyway. So when they did that twist, I, I went, oh no. It's going to be that kind of movie. Oh no. Yeah. Are they going to, are they going to lecture me on everything I'm doing wrong? Like mm -hmm. every piece of medium, but luckily they, didn't. No, it, it didn't. Not really. It didn't get woke at any yeah. point. And that was the thing that was worrying me about it. Because uh, the movie has a feel of like the last, that Sabrina series. I didn't watch it. Meets, it follows. It kind of had that okay. feeling to it. And even Sabrina kind of did some things where I'm like, mm, you know, uh, it was no Melissa Joan Hart, the star of God's <laughs> Not Dead 2. Uh, uh, no, no, like I... Because Dean is mixed race, mm -hmm. her brother is black, yeah. and I guess maybe they had two different dads, I don't mm -hmm. know. Uh, so I was like, all right, now we're going to go into this, and we're going to yeah. go into that. And, and there's going to be town. racism in the town, all that kind of it's stuff. It's an old town, we're going to, it's, all right. Like, and, but then, they, like, they don't. No. I'm like, okay, they're just, they're just two lesbians. Yeah. Like, all right, I'm fine with that. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> and it, But it was like the way that they led into the gotcha, I was just like, it's not, stop. Yeah, I like, had a problem with the gotcha. Yeah. If they didn't have the gotcha, it'd be fine. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Dina is a jerk. Yes. Like, even her, Sam is like, but you broke up with me. She's like, because mm. you moved to the other town. She's like, I'm only 30 minutes away. You yeah. broke up with me. And like, how about, know? I'm a teenager and I have no say in this. Yeah, like, I don't have, my parents split up. Yeah. Um, and then she's like, and you're dating that asshole. And it's like, okay, like, you broke up with me. Yeah. We've all been there, right? <laughs> well, no, no one's, no one's dumped me. One person dumped me, but they didn't try to get back together with me. But uh, I guess I've been that person when I broke up with someone. It was when I was like young, like high school, like early college. I don't do it anymore. That's good. That's good. Now I'm like, oh, God, I better not call that person. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I knew like people like that who would break up with someone and then they would get mad. And it's like, but you broke up with them. I'm like, shut up. And I'm like, oh, OK, yeah. all right, relax. <laughs> uh, you know what's not a good place to fight? A candlelight vigil for no. murdered teenagers. No, for murdered teenagers. <laughs> Not yeah, the best place to fight. I no, think. we could have picked other places because these towns like hate each other. And yeah, I don't think I've ever heard. Of I them. did like the, the. They did some cool visual stuff where they're driving to the vigil, and you show that the, the the poor town is closed down and boarded up. Shitty side. Shitty side. And then you see the other side is like old Victorian, nice homes and stuff. Yeah. I was like, it's a nice visual as you go from one to the other. You yeah, know. Yeah. Uh, so later on, they're driving away, and, mm -hmm. uh, I like a drug-dealing girl. Yeah. I lost, her name escapes me. Her and her, her floopy-haired friend. And her floopy-haired yeah. friend. Her, her drug-dealing girl and burnout boy. Yeah. Uh, I love the, when they do the thing where they cut, where she's just like, hey guys, we're all gonna blah blah, and then it cuts, she's like, we're gonna kill them yeah. all! <laughs> uh, but they're on the bus driving away, and mm -hmm. then the Sunnyvale kids attack. Yeah. Sam is in the wearing car Wearing skull them, masks. Wearing skull masks. So the dude sticks yeah. his butt against the window yeah and then we we notice because this comes up later uh dina starts bleeding from her nose mm -hmm. for like a second yeah and i like the accident where she spills all the stuff sam yeah because they're gonna open up the th they were throwing bottles at them or something in the back of the van yeah. and then uh so they open the back of the van and the, of the the bus and they're gonna throw like gatorade or what i don't even know what the fuck it was on yeah. them and then uh, her nose starts bleeding, and then they do it, and it causes the other car to go off the road yeah. and get fucked to Pretty shit. Pretty fucked. Everyone's fine. Yeah. But, uh, but Sam walks out. She touches something, mm -hmm. and she sees the evil witch. A flash of, like, shit. Yes, the evil witch is all like, blah! Mm -hmm. Is it the witch? The v it, it is the witch. Yeah. Uh, I like when the cops show up, the sheriff, and they're all just lying because they don't want to admit that they were yeah. fighting. They're like, it was an accident. Mm -hmm. It wasn't. And then the one guy's like, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> fuck you, pig. It's very offensive. You I know my father is a former cop. I know. I apologize for that statement. I'm sorry to your dad when he was a cop. Right. Now go put a thin. No. <laughs> 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 thin blue line. <laughs> uh, what on. does A cab mean? <laughs> 
So Dina calls Sam mm -hmm. to see if she's okay, and Sam's yeah. mom really treats her like shit. Yeah. She's like, you ruined her life! But it's like, I've had a mom do that before. Was it your own? <sighs> no. Well, no. <laughs> no, I had, a, I had an ex-girlfriend whose mom was like a raging alcoholic. Mm -hmm. Not the ex-girlfriend you're thinking. Okay. Uh, and she was getting, she was going through a breakup while I started dating her daughter. Mm -hmm. So... You know how people like to project things? Yeah. Like, say if someone was balding and they project their insecurities about balding and, and to pretend, say that someone else is wearing a wig and, and pretend that yeah. someone's wearing a toupee, a toupee mm -hmm. that shows the receding yeah. hairline, which I think is a bizarre <laughs> choice for a toupee. I only get uh, paid so much at Hack the Movies videos. Yeah. So, so this mom, like, she was so mad she didn't have a boyfriend that she wanted to like ruin her daughter's relationship, and also her daughter was crazy. Yeah. Uh, so the one day she like called me, and she's like, "You're ruining." You're stealing my daughter from me and you're ruining my life. And I had to say back, I'm like, I'm like, hey, I actually want to hang out with her less. She yells at me all the time. You should have fucked the mom. No. Yeah. No. Do you uh, ask, do you, do you think Crystal's mom likes me? Does she? No. <laughs> <laughs> my mom likes her. My mom doesn't like any of you. Yeah, that's fine. Your well, mom, no, no, actually, no. no. <laughs> your, if you watch the voicemail thing, your mom... Wait, that might be on this episode. Oh, really? No, it already came out. Wait, who was in that one? Uh, Johanna Crystal. or Crystal? Crystal. Oh, Crystal. It came out already. Okay, yeah. Go back and uh, to the Sign previous episode, the podcast version of the previous episode, or Patreon. My mom left a voicemail for me, and you guys can leave a voicemail mm -hmm. for me. Oh, God. So, yes. Go back to the uh, previous podcast mm -hmm. or the Patreon video yeah. and listen to my mom who called the voicemail. Yeah. She had, she had nice things to say about it. She you. wants you and I to get married. Uh, and your mom sounds surprisingly like my dad. Yeah, she yeah. does. Uh, so back at Dina's house, they're being stalked mm -hmm. by another skull face. Yeah. Ooh, and she thinks it's Peter, Sam's boyfriend. Yeah. Uh, and then I think, uh, what you call it? She calls the drug dealer friend. Mm-hmm. Uh, Who's she, having? She's babysitting and she's having kids sort drugs for her. <laughs> and she's like, "If you do this, you could watch my so-called life with me." And I was yeah. like, "I used to like that show." Uh, but then they see the skull face person yeah. sniffing around their uh, their laundry. Oh, we should have mentioned Sam threw up blood all over uh, ba Burnout. Boy. Yeah, so there's there's blood all over Burnout Boy, and when he takes his shirt off. He does this every time, yeah. And I kept thinking that that's also how you get changed every day. Oh, yeah, like his his routine in the bathroom later on. I was like, I kind of feel like that's how Tony does things. And pretty much, yeah. pretty much, it's spot on. Mm -hmm. I choreographed that scene. It's Netflix good. hit me up. <laughs> they said, "Hey, you're very famous." And I said, "I don't know. Did well, you see that boss? Did you see, you see the, the two weeks? <laughs> you see the numbers on the boss baby review?" And they're like, "Oh no, we've made a mistake." <laughs> <laughs> and then the Toy Story one came out, and they were like, "What have we done?" They all get together. Yeah. They throw off the the twins on someone else. Mm -hmm. To the neighbors, yeah. Some old lady. She's like, I love having company. <laughs> but then they look out and like burnout dudes got blood all over him. She's like, everything's fine. Yeah. Uh they go they go to the hospital because they yeah. like I said, they think it's Peter, so they want to question mm -hmm. Sam. And uh killing me softly with his song. Someone also did that the night at the uh the karaoke. Oh yeah, yeah. that's a good one. Because every time they would do it, I would go. Two times. <laughs> two times, two times. Uh, I love the girl at the reception. She's like, fill out the form. Yeah. And then they meet Betty. Betty. His name is Eddie, but he put a B on there. Mm -hmm. And he buys drugs from them. And is, he, is that a nurse Betty joke? Because that's a couple years too early. Yeah. Yeah, so he sells drugs to high school kids. Mm -hmm. Not the nicest person. Mm. Um... Or you know what? It's uh, a capitalistic. It's a capitalist. Uh, you know you what? Know. You know what? I I betrayed myself yeah. in this libertarian utopia that I won. Everyone can have every, any drug they want. Who's the government to tell them they're not allowed to? Yep. <laughs> I don't do drugs, but if I did, I would be like, yeah, yeah. Uh, they get to the hospital and they find out it wasn't Peter. Yep. He was there the whole time. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, Dina showing how much she sucks. She's like, I'm an awful person. You should get back together with me. Yeah. And she's like, well, I don't know when you put it like that. <laughs> um, I like relationships that are sort of like uh, episode two, where it's like, <laughs> well, I killed a bunch of women and kids. And she's like, I'm going to get that dick. But, and that was good. <laughs> what? No, I. Because we love it. We love episode two. We love it. I, 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 that movie gives me hope that I too can kill women and children. And Natalie Portman was like, hmm. 
<laughs> that was a weird decision, yeah. wasn't it? What if it was just like, she's like, oh my god, this guy's fucking crazy. I'm just gonna kiss him so he stops telling me about his bloodlust. So anyway. Yeah. Uh, Peter gets killed. He does. He's not the killer. It becomes like uh, Halloween 2. Yeah. But like violent, like the Rob Zombie Halloween 2. Not good Halloween 2. Yeah, the two. violence is almost out of place in yeah. this. But I kinda, it kind of makes it funny. Because like this feels like a young, it feels like Stranger Things. Yeah. Honestly. Mm-hmm. Uh, but in and a it good gets way. Stranger Thingy later, way more yeah. so when they're dropping pop culture references and all that. Yeah, kind yeah, of but stuff. no. But I mean, like this feels like, you know, it's horror and not sci-fi. Young, Stranger Things, yeah. sci-fi. But it's like, oh, this is horror, but it's for like teens. It's young people have to do a thing because the yeah. adults don't believe. This feels them. like it could have been a good PG thirteen. Yes, coming of age like uh, introductory mm-hmm. horror for kids. Instead, they were like, oh, we're on Netflix? Full on blood and gore. Yeah. Just, just do not shy away from the gore at and all. And hospitals are fucking scary to start with. Yeah. But horror movies that take place in also, hospitals. Also, I've never seen a hospital that dimly lit. Hospitals are brightly lit most of the yeah, time. I don't, you've been to the hospital in Atlantic City. Yeah, I was. Yeah. That was, that was pretty brutal. Mm-hmm. The ER in Atlantic City, that was brutal. Yep. Um, you ever see uh, uh, Visiting Hours? No. That's a good one with fucking Michael Ironside. No. Nah, takes I place in a hospital. One. Uh, but I like that the killer is so focused on Dean and Sam that it just passes by. Yeah. It does kill other people. Mm-hmm. I think it's one of those like. Kills the receptionist. It'll kill other people, but when its target is there, it's focused on and just it becomes, that target. And that's where they say it's like, uh, hold on, Ryan's calling us. Okay. So the killer, I like how he's dead set on Sam and Dina. Yeah. And it'll just pass by the other ones. He does kill some other people, mm-hmm. like the, uh, the receptionist. Yeah. He kills poor nurse Betty. Poor nurse Betty. <laughs> Uh, Elaine, but yeah, Elaine Bracco isn't that who played Nurse Betty from Sopranos? Right? Isn't that that show? Is that what that was? Yeah. No, Nurse Betty wasn't that the Renee Zellweger movie? I don't remember which one Nurse Betty. Nurse Jackie is what I'm thinking of. Nurse Jackie. Yeah. Yes. Nurse yeah. Betty was the Renee Zellweger. Movie. Okay. Anyway, what's, uh, uh, Aaron. What's not Aaron Jones's diary? What the fuck was that's that? That's not Bridget Jones. Bridget diary. Jones's diary, and Bridget Jones is also the name of Mike Nelson's wife from Mystery Science Theater, yes. but it's not the same Bridget Jones. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> uh, I like how they run past a room and just a bunch of nurses and patients watch a TV, and the killer also ignores yeah. them. Well, they, that's kind of where they say, like, when you get into the real pop culture stuff, they're like Jaws, and then it becomes yeah. a lot of pop culture stuff about Jaws. We should review that one. Jaws? Yeah, we did. Oh. So the killer is finally revealed. Yeah, it's the dude who got shot in the fucking head at the mall. Yes, he's a zombie man now. Mm-hmm. Just a regular run-of-the-mill zombie man. Uh, zombie <laughs> slasher. And the girl knows who it is because they said it on the news who yeah. it was. And he's like, what the? She's like, what the fuck? Uh, so they, they, go, they steal an ambulance. They steal an ambulance. They go to the sheriff. I can imagine, like, driving an ambulance is probably really hard. Yeah, I imagine it'd be kind of hard. Uh, but yeah, they go to um, the sheriff classic they don't believe him well the sheriff is letting on like he knows more than he's letting on yeah the other cop doesn't believe him but uh and the the sheriff also his last name is good and always just reminds me of like people in witch movies like they always have a last name like that oh you know like sarah good yeah was you know and then uh dina is looking at the one cop's gun i'm like oh my god this crazy bitch is gonna steal that cop's gun (laughs) like that is not a good time please do not do that uh, really? And then uh, uh, floopy haired uh, burnout, burnout boy. boy goes out to pee in the front of the building. Yes. And he hears a, a, a young lady singing. singing. And he's like, what's up, young lady? And mm-hmm. then she starts stabbing him. And she's a zombie lady, yeah. too. She's got like a switchblade. Yes. Yes. And uh, and we come to find out that she's from the 50s. Okay. Oh, also at the uh, hospital, uh, the sheriff's department, they arrested the janitor. Yeah before graffiti and he's like why would i graffiti my own mall this doesn't make any <laughs> sense uh and i think it was at this point josh talks about how he studies serial killers yes to know his enemy i guess like the rage against the machine song yes like the rage against the machine mm-hmm. song he's very into armenian heavy metal groups. yes <laughs> me too who i think weren't popular yet but yes in 94 was were they around yeah man wait wait, wait no no System of a Down is yeah, the Armenian I'm, Yeah, group. I was like, what you, I was going to let you fail. I, like, I mean, fucking, as we move into 92, yeah. still in a room without a view, 
got to know, you got to know. We say go, go, go. I can't go. believe I mixed Rage Against yeah. the Machine with System of a Down. That's mm-hmm. bizarre. Uh, they rage for the machine. Tony, though. how often do you rip the mic, rip the stage, rip the system? I'm a born to rage against them. So you're right. Uh, they, they shoot zombies. You want to know how much of a fucking loser I am? In 1994, when I did have internet, like the first, my screen name was Rip the System. That was my first ever screen name on AIM. Mine was Hulkamaniac, dude. So we're both fucking losers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the, uh, what's it called? The, the zombie chick. She's, she's from girl, the 60s, not yeah, the 50s. The 60s, yeah. some girl named Ruby, mm-hmm. who murdered a bunch of people in 1965, and she would sing while she did it. Mm-hmm. Uh, real crazy. Uh, they talk about other killers. Uh, the one is the uh, camp killer in the 70s, yeah. who we will learn about yes. more, and he looks like not Jason. No. He looks like the burlap sack Jason, but he's not Jason. Which the burlap sack Jason was ripped off of the town that traded Sunday. Check out our Friday the 13th review for that. And our uh, our uh, movie oh. set at movie theaters thing. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that still one. up there, right? Uh, yeah, that's still up. It's got yeah. like 5,000 views. <laughs> <laughs> but the first insane killer, because again, Josh has all these killers like mm. laid out, was someone called the pastor in 1666. And when I said to you at the end of the second one, I was like 666, and you went, oh, I just got that. Yes. Yeah. Yes, you know, often in times, 666, 666 appears in dreams backwards, and so it turns into 1990, whatever. <laughs> the end no, no, of, keep going. No, I like this. This is good. Watch the end of day's review. <laughs> that is still, I can't wrap my mind about how fucking dumb that was. That's and a writer, when he was writing that out in Hollywood, was like, this is the shit right here. This is the truth. So Sam and Dina are like reuniting yeah. and trying to make up. While Josh is talking about the uh, witch that was hung, the woman with one arm, mm-hmm. uh, Sarah Fear? Yes. Yes. F-I-E-R. Sarah Fear. F-I-E-R. F-I-E-R. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, yeah. And Sam thinks the killers are coming after her because of the witch in her vision. Yeah. Uh, which would make sense because it passed by everyone else. It like just wanted yeah. them. Mm-hmm. And it didn't kill the other ones in their house. It was just smelling the blood. Yeah. Yep. So they uh, they go to the scene of the accident. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they find the witch's body. Yeah, and it's not buried very deep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's not very deep. Yeah, uh, but yeah, Sam bleeds again. She has like another vision. Mm-hmm. But I like that they go to bury the skeletons to put her to rest. <laughs> I like that the burnout guys like we're very sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like someone should have tried that to Freddy Krueger when they buried his bones. Be like, we're very sorry. Mm-hmm. There, we're sorry. We didn't mean it. <laughs> as long as a dog doesn't pee fire on it, I think they're good, you know? Yeah, but then not Jason attacks them. Mm-hmm. Uh, and like, uh, yeah, like I said, the, the killers can smell Sam's blood. Yeah. And the witch now wants more of her blood mm-hmm. for some reason. So yeah, this witch, she wants revenge on the town. She cut off her hand to make herself to more- To spite her face. Yeah, she cut off her hand so she would always have a grip on the town. Mm-hmm. And occasionally she possesses people to murder yeah. but if people figure out a way or like they, if they stumble on a way that can like end her reign she will try to murder them yeah mm-hmm. which is what happens yeah, they, yeah unbeknownst to them they figured they didn't figure it out but they're like oh wait a minute this could lead to how to end this mm-hmm. and she's not having any of not that at shit. all so yeah they sanitize their clothes and you have a fun note about their clothes. oh yeah so they they go to the school there and uh they go to the lost and found and the Outfits they put out and put on are the outfits from the covers of the books of the Fear Street. Yeah, books. which and you know, I was like, that's cool. But also, they're like kind of loud, and the colors feel almost like they're Scooby Doo characters at this point. They yeah. stand out against the background because the one girl has like the overalls on. So I was like, oh, that's from the book because Crystal was showing me all of them. Oh, okay. So yeah, and then I felt like I was watching Degrassi or something. I'm like, oh my god. Is Josh going to get with drug dealer girl? And I'm like, oh my God, is Dina going to get back together with Sam? And then the burnout boy just jerks off in he a does. sink. He does, yeah. Yeah, no, he jerks off in a school And sink. they all brag about it. But it was funny because the, it would come up later. Um, the song Sweet Jane is playing, mm-hmm. which is a cover from the 90s, but it was a cover of a song from the 70s, yeah. I believe. And that song is playing while this is going on. And then in the second one, it repeats in a scene that's sort of like it. Yeah. And I was like, oh, it's a neat little thing that they're doing here. Yeah. So they're going to set a trap. Yeah. To lure the bad guys in and light them on fire. Mm-hmm. And while that's happening, the song, I'm the fire, Sata, I'm the blah, 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 blah. Was that what about- Prodigy? I think it was Prodigy. It was Prodigy. Yeah. Uh, the last thing I heard that in was um, 
You ever watch that Lasagna Cat YouTube? Yeah. When they came back a few years ago mm -hmm. and they made it look like a 2004 people filmed an action movie on their thing. <laughs> they had like Garfield fighting Odie to that song mm -hmm. and it looked like something that someone would have edited back then. That was a really popular one, but do you ever, do you ever smack my bitch up? Smack S my bitch up! And the whole Meow. the video is all POV and you yeah. think it's a dude doing all these horrible things. And it's like a and dog. It's a, no, it's yeah. a girl at oh, the it's end. it's a girl, right. And I was like, oh, that was cool. They can only show it after 10 o'clock on MTV. MTV used to show music videos back in the day when I was in my 20s. Yes. You know, back in 1994. Yes, we have a uh, episode coming out where we talk about MTV. Mm -hmm. uh, me, Aaron, and Crystal were getting real nostalgic about How a certain How come I didn't get to be in that episode? You weren't allowed. Oh. Girls only and Tony. That's the rule. Oh, okay. Girls only and Tony. <laughs> They just don't feel safe around you. I'm a very You know safe. what? I've, I've heard that. I've heard that. Aaron would periodically just text Mike and I and be like, can somebody just check on us? You know? And we'd be like, everything all right in here? Keep the door open. Like, <laughs> So all the killers show up. All the killers. All the killers show up. There's like a deformed boy, too. Yeah. And like a milkman. Yeah, and they all flood into the uh, bathroom, but mm -hmm. then she escapes through the vent. And then they light them all on fire. And they... Yeah. Die. Everything dies. Except they don't. Because they're zombies. It turns into the T-1000. Yep. They just start to rebuild themselves <laughs> again. So I was like, ha, that's an interesting idea. Mm -hmm. See what I mean? Like, this feels like Stranger Things. Yeah. Because this feels like them fighting the whatever monster. The Gorgon Zola or what Demi was it called? Demi Gorgon or Demi -Gorgon. something. Demi Gorgon. Uh, Demi Lovato. Yeah. But Sam is going to sacrifice herself. And drug dealer lady's like, you better fucking sacrifice yeah. yourself. Uh, so she's out in the hallway, but then they're looking at like the news articles and they found out like someone also was attacked, but they survived because they died briefly. Yeah. So they think, oh, dying and being resuscitated will stop this. It's like Flatliners. Yeah. So they, movie? the movie starring Nina Dobrev. Who's that? No, we'll talk about the Flatliners remake. Oh, they did remake or it. Or requel because Keith or Sutherland shows up in it and, for like a second. And, uh, uh, um, Fuck, what, what is, uh, I was going to say Betty Page. What is... Elliot Page. Elliot Page. I yes. couldn't remember Elliot Page's name. Yes. Um. Yeah, it was awful. It looked really bad. Yeah. I like Nina Dobrev, but... But then they also did another one that was kind of like it re uh, a, like a bunch of years ago. Remember uh, the Lucif... The, the, the one with... Lazarus Effect. Lazarus Effect. We have it. We have it right there. I see it right there behind, left behind yeah, with Nicolas Cage. With uh, fucking the, Olivia Wilde. Olivia Wilde. Yeah. That movie was awful. I heard it was bad. I yeah. didn't actually watch it. Uh, so yeah, so they have to die and then yeah. come back. So they come up with another plan. They try to call the girl who survived. Mm -hmm. Catherine something, yeah. which will not be her actual. Well, no. it is her actual name. Yeah. She goes by a different name later on, but she doesn't answer. Uh, so yeah, they take her to the uh, the grocery store where Burnout Boy works. I like that he's the he's yeah the, he's the employee of the month every month. Oh, it yeah. reminded me of the Simpsons episode uh, where Smithers is the employee of the month every time except for the one time Homer was. <laughs> I like the look of the uh, grocery store too because yeah. it reminds me of grocery stores that like small mom and pop ones. Mm. If you've ever seen the uh, the It's Time to Party music video that we yeah, made for Andrew that. WK. Yeah. There's this little mom and pop grocery store in Pensacola, New Jersey, and I lied to them and told them that it was a high school project, even though I was in my late twenties. And they were like, "Oh, well, it's a high school project." Then we bring this world known rock star out yeah. there, Cat Dennings. Cat Dennings. Yeah. How fucking lucky is that dude? Yeah. Yeah. And her, she's lucky too. Uh, he's more lucky though. <laughs> he is more yeah. Lucky. Uh, hold on. And there's all the creepy establishing shots of the place as the lights are coming on. Yes. And there's like the creepy little girl with the bread is like. Wah. Also, before this. The sheriff leaves a little note saying it's happening again. Yeah. Someone. Someone. Mm -hmm. We don't know who that someone is. Yeah. Uh doesn't yes. the sheriff look like a like a bulkier version of the dude who played Ryan on The Office? Yes, he a does kind of look right? like DJ you know? Yeah. Yeah. So uh what you got? They're they're they have all the pills. Mm -hmm. and, because Burnout Boy's brother OD'd but came back. Yeah. And they mentioned they foreshadowed this earlier because mm -hmm. the when they when she was getting the girls to sort her drugs she yeah. was like don't eat these you'll die yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so they're sorting it out and they're gonna bring her back to life with epipens mm -hmm. yeah adrenaline because remember Pulp Fiction yeah it's the second movie this week that's mentioned that we've reviewed this week that's mentioned, mentioned Pulp, Pulp Fiction, Fiction. Uh, Pulp Fiction is a good movie good movie uh, 
yeah, so <laughs> I love I love Dina pouring her heart out. Yeah. She's like, after this, after this, we're gonna go on a it's, it's, the, the, her voice they is. They wanna so go weird. on a date and they're gonna have hamburgers yeah. and listen to the Pixies and make and it out. They said we're, we're gonna have the best night of our goddamn lives. But right now you gotta die. And that's like I say that's how every date I've ever been on, but they leave out the pixies and the hamburgers fault, and they're <laughs> like, I wish you would just die. <laughs> uh the killer gets a flamethrower to the face. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. I said to Kieran while we were watching this, I was like, Can you imagine if like Kurt Cobain was trying to stop a monster from getting into our world and it just went south. Like, <laughs> you gotta OD and stop this demon. And he's like, oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, she um and that she demon get... was named Courtney Love. Yes. Uh, I've mentioned that before, the Courtney Love conspiracy. <laughs> it comes up once in a while. Uh, yeah, so the killer knocked over the pills, so she didn't get to finish her pills. Mm -hmm. So Dina's like, I'm going to take this lobster out of this fish tank, and I'm going to condemn it to die because yeah. I'm an awful person. Mm -hmm. And then she drowns her, her girlfriend. Friend, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she drowns her. Imagine if like the fucking owner of the grocery store showed up and was like, oh, no, I forgot something and he comes back and he's like nope and just goes <laughs> <laughs> but yes she comes back to life and the killers leave mm -hmm. and they all lie to the sheriff again yeah oh except for the so, best parts uh, oh, of the we movie forgot, we forgot yes so here's the thing about this movie yeah you and i were having the conversation that this movie felt like it was a series but it feels like someone had an idea for a long-running series yeah and then they were told three movies so this feels like we're watching an abridged TV show. Because you go long periods of time where there's no gore or anything like that, and you forget it's a sla supposed to be a slasher movie. Yes, but I like that, because it actually lets you sit and know the characters. And like them, yeah. Yeah, I like these characters. I'm like, oh man, I hope, because I started to feel like Stranger Things. I hope their plan works. The, oh, I the hope the new plan drug works. drug dealer girl kisses the uh, the slurring girl's brother, and, yeah. and they like each other, and it's a thing. Yeah, and, I and then fucking killer grabs her, and fucking puts her head through the <laughs> bread slicer, and it's Fucking awesome! And the burnout boy gets an axe to his end. That's when you're reminded, oh, this is a slasher. But the the uh, I feel like the whoever made this has seen the movie Intruder. Have you ever seen Intruder I before? No. Uh, Sam Raimi gets that in that movie. Oh yeah. Oh no, he's the meat. He's the guy cutting the meat. Okay. Um, he gets a he gets the meat slicer thing. But it felt like that scene. Yeah. Um, but I was like, that was awesome. And then the other dude shows up like, hey, what's going on? fucking axe to the head and you're like oh right this is a slasher movie I forgot <laughs> but like the movie's okay and then it gets awesome for a couple minutes you yes. know uh, so the spells lifted their yeah. two friends are dead the cop is gonna pin everything on them for mm -hmm. some reason and they're like whatever uh, they're Sam, just druggies Sam and Dina are now in love mm -hmm. and Sam spites her mother and makes out with Dina in front of her yeah. mother um, they're all hanging out it's it's all Listen to the lucky. Pixies. The brother ordered pizza. The brother ordered pizza. He's on his instant messenger talking to whoever, whoever that person is. We'll find out in part three. Uh, but uh, they get a call mm -hmm. from the previous survivor. And yeah. she's like, you need to like get out of there. And she's like, it's not over. Mm -hmm. Sam is possessed by the witch now. Mm -hmm. And she tries to kill Dina. And I thought she did kill her for like a second. She stabs her. Yeah. But I guess not. She bad. stabbed her like bad. Yeah, but it's from that point on. It's just like meh. it's a minor inconvenience. It's just a flesh wound. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so I like that the brother is like typing while this is all happening, mm -hmm. and you think they're being murdered, but then like he goes upstairs and Dina tied her up with the telephone. <laughs> what you can do now, like you couldn't, we couldn't stop demons if they came in here right now. No. Well, I mean, well, we have this. This isn't that long. No. Though. Yeah. Hopefully there's no killers or demons. Coming Tony's to cord is just never long enough to satisfy our needs. <laughs> <laughs> Movie ends with the to be continued. Yeah, it does. Back to the future. Exactly. Too. Yep. Uh, yeah. Then we get Fear Street 1978. 1978. Yes. Uh, we find out Gillian Jacobs is the or Gillian Jacobs. I think it's Gillian Jacobs. She is the older. She is the older version of the character we're about to meet. Yeah. Uh, and I didn't know who she was. She's on Community. Somebody in the voicemail episode told us to watch Community. Yes. They were probably calling us to tell us about this movie, and we weren't listening. Probably. Yeah. Um. She has clocks all over her house, mm -hmm. and she's really into David Bowie. She is. Her dog's name is Major Tom. And her nickname was Ziggy. We find that out, like yeah. Her Ziggy nickname Stardust. was Ziggy. Yep. Uh, Tina and Josh bring Sam to her and house. And it starts with the Nirvana cover right. of The Man Who Sold the World. Yes. 
Uh, but yeah, they bring Sam to the house. She's like, why did you bring it? This is the worst place you could have brought yeah. her. <laughs> and they tie her up in the bathroom to the radiator. And yeah. They're like, she's fine. Everything's yeah. fine. Uh, but yeah, they. Uh, she goes into her backstory mm -hmm. about how her sister died at camp one year. Yeah. And she turns into Sadie Sink. The red little redheaded girl from... Little redheaded girl yeah. from... Uh, well, not little. She's 19. Oh, redheaded okay. girl. Oh, from, really? I thought she was like 12. No, I think she's 19. Mm, whatever. Uh, she is the younger version. Uh, at Camp Nightwing. A cat Camp Nightwing. Which is cool. Like the superhero. Yeah, he's in Bloodhaven, which is even <laughs> cooler. And his name is Dick. I mean, yeah. like Tony loves Dick. Yeah, so Redhead <laughs> from Stranger Things. Mm -hmm. Ziggy, she's on the run from other kids at the camp. Yeah. Um, they're bullying her, calling her a witch, because they're from Sunnyvale. There's but also, of... Redhead's... Are witches because that's what they I've don't heard. have souls. That's what I and heard. And every one of their uh, freckles is a soul that they have collected from exactly. someone. Exactly. And that's what I tell Crystal literally every time I see her. I'm like, you're a witch, and we should burn you. Yes. Yes. One day. Yeah. One day. Oh, I can't. Um, <laughs> Fifty thousand subs. We burn Crystal alive. <laughs> so they do try to burn her. Yeah. Uh, Sheila. That. Bitch Sheila. Fucking Sheila. Who reminds me of Josie Jody. Whatever the mean girl was in the first sleep camp. Uh, yeah, the one with yeah. the slide ponytail mm -hmm. looked like she was 35. Yeah. <laughs> she like tries to burn her, but then the old, uh, older camp counselors, including Future Cop. Yeah. Future Cop? You said his name was Sheriff Good? Yeah. We're going to call him Future Cop. Future Cop. Like the alternate title for Trancers. Trancers 2 review. Could this movie take place in the Trancers universe? Probably. Oh, yeah. that was actually. How it, we'll get back to that, how it ends does feel like yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So they string her up and they burn her with like a, a yeah. lighter. And then the counselors come over. Uh, she almost gets kicked out of the camp. Because she she graffitied the bathroom. Yeah. She set rabbits free. Yes. Which I guess makes sense that. because they have like a whole like fucking zoo in one scene where there's like all these other like they have like a possum and snakes and yeah. spiders and shit uh yeah so she's like a jerk but they decide not to kick her out because mm -hmm. she got burnt and they're like oh yeah. we could get in trouble let's yeah. just let this one slide then we meet her sister but we meet her sister too who's a goody two shoes brother loves traveling salvation show holly holly Back up the baby. Tony and just grab goes, the old ladies because yeah, everyone, everyone knows. knows. Again, also used incredibly well in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Pass. I love Neil Diamond. Neil Diamond is like probably my favorite music. Did you ever see the time. SNL skit with Will Ferrell as yeah. Neil Diamond? Yeah. And he's like, he wrote, uh, Pet your balls, it's Neil Diamond. <laughs> <laughs> The only way he can get an erection is by, like, abusing people. <laughs> but I do love Neil Diamond. Yeah. one of my favorite singers. People call him Jewish Elvis. I call him Better Elvis. That's just me. Uh, and then we also get Love Will Keep Us Together. Mm -hmm. And then two camp counselors are cleaning an outhouse full of red moss. One of them is uh, Ziggy's, sister, Z Ziggy's sister, Cindy. Mm -hmm. And the other one's a guy named Tommy. Tommy. And they're getting a little handsy. Mm -hmm. uh, but she's like, no, Tommy, I'm a good girl. I'm a good girl. And then she goes to meet uh, Alice, I think. Who also talks like, who is, yeah, girl. she also slurs all her words. Mm -hmm. And we're like, okay. What was the booze budget on this I two movies? I don't know. Like, uh, but she's getting railed in some Oh, she's getting fucking railed. By her hippie boyfriend. To, uh, uh, <laughs> Cherry Bomb. Ch Cherry Bomb, yeah. yep, by the Runaways. The only nudity we get in these movies is man ass so far. Yeah, because later on the hippie chick is is topless, but her hair is long and covers her, yeah. her breasticles. We don't even see her ass. We just see man ass, which, I mean, if you're a fan of man ass, I mean, go for it. If I had a nice ass. Like, <laughs> people get mad at, like, Rob Zombie's wife and, like, the Devil's Rejects. I was like, dude, yeah. if my ass looked like that, I would never <laughs> wear pants. See, so, yeah, Ziggy meets a sad nurse mm -hmm. who gives her burn cream. Yeah. And she's crying and whatnot. And it turns out the mother is, I mean, the nurse is the mother of Ruby Lane. Yeah, the 60s slasher girl. The, the singing slasher yeah. girl. Uh, that should I, be a new thing we could do, like sing telegrams, but it's like a singing slasher thing. <laughs> Don't you know that girl who was in like Mummy Cop who's like, does like, she was yeah. on, yeah. 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 We do that. We go, hey, go to this person's house. And you're like, hello, my baby. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if she does singing telegrams anymore. She but did. Anyway. She huh? had a kid recently. I think so, yeah. Yeah, she was anyway. like Preston and Steve. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. the Ruby's mom is crying and whatnot. Uh, Ziggy and her sister Cindy are arguing because they don't get along, and she calls her a monster, mm -hmm. which you agreed with. I do. Redheads in general are monsters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, so Cindy's venting to her boyfriend, Tommy, and then the nurse just attacks him and says, you're going to die at the end of the night. I have to stop you. Yeah, with a knife. They knock yeah. out the nurse and then, but Tommy gets his head fucking whacked against yeah. something. But I like that she's like, your name was on the wall. Oh, we forgot to mention. The previous one ended with someone in like a cavern, mm -hmm. like this underground shrine and names were appearing on the yeah. wall and Sam's name was on mm -hmm. the wall. Uh, so yeah, his name is written on a wall. So she has, and it's the name of all the people who are possessed. Yeah. Cindy, Cindy's boyfriend knocks out the lady. Mm -hmm. She uh, gets taken away and he's like kind of freaked out by it. And then the one officer, Officer Kapinski is the most 70s cop ever. Yeah. <laughs> but he talks to future cop and he's like, you're going to be a great cop one day. Your you're dad. Dad, why don't you be a cop? So you better be. And he's like, take it easy on me when you're my boss, huh, kid? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then we hear the phrase, you think the color war is going to be canceled? And I say, I hope I, I hope all color. And I say, I hope all color wars are canceled. Yeah. <laughs> Anything we can do, avoid helter skelter. I think. Yeah, we're I good. mean, I do not want to participate in a color war. I mean, if it happens, you know, I, what am I'm I going to do? Guess what? But I ain't on the same side as you, my friend. <laughs> oh, I was fighting for people of color but you know if you want to admit that about yourself go ahead anyway you know what that might actually get me some new fans on the show <laughs> so <laughs> they're like you so know yeah, what? Like the i didn't like that little guy at first but mm. that itty bitty batman yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah so the color teams are red for sunnyvale much like their football teams yeah. and blue, blue for shady side uh and ziggy there's, there's ziggy the thinks all their bad luck comes from the witch yeah Despite the fact that, like, their dad was an alcoholic and their mom, like, left. But she thinks, like, the witch in the town yeah. caused them all their bad luck. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's where you get the whole, like, you're a monster. Yeah. Uh, the the boyfriend, Tommy, is acting real weird. He probably he should have went to a therapist. Now, yeah, he's hearing yeah. his name whispered. Well, I said we could send him to the nurse. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The cops really should have taken him in. Yeah. Like, you should probably stay with that. I don't mm -hmm. know what's going on here. You're, you're fucking massive head wound Harry now. Like, yeah. can we do something about this? Yeah. So they go to investigate yeah. Tommy and Cindy. But it turns out Alice and her boyfriend are also there investigating. Mm -hmm. They find the witch book. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and they find out where Sarah Fear's house was located, and they're like, well, we obviously have to investigate yeah, that. Yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> so they go there, they find the underground shrine to mm -hmm. the witch, uh, and Stoner Guy goes to leave, but Tommy is now possessed. Yeah. And murder Nate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, he's like, let me ax you a question. <laughs> yeah, he axes a stoner in the face and then chases the girls, and, mm. uh, Tommy gets caught in the cave, but he's still alive. Yeah. He cannot die now. No. He doesn't have the whole time. We're like, where's he going to get the burlap yeah. sack mask? Mm -hmm. uh, the color war is on. Yeah. So like these kids are out like in the woods, like trying to play game. capture the flag. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a fucking murderer out there who's yeah. possessed by evil witches. So that bitch Sheila, uh, Sheila, she gets a note that says, meet me at the outhouse. Because uh, Ziggy and future cop kind of bond over Stephen King books. Right, right, And they right. talk about Carrie. Yeah. In there. Again, another redhead who can't be trusted. Exactly. And she gets a note, and she's like, meet me in the, the bathroom. Mm -hmm. And she's like, I was going to go to your bunk, but I guess this is romantic, too. Yeah, and the outhouse. Like, <laughs> yeah, and there's, like, fucking, like, roses and fucking yeah. candles. And then it's like, look, in, look up, and then they look up, and they pull the bucket, <laughs> and, it's, and it's just full of bugs and shit. <laughs> and they lock her in there. Yeah, they lock her in there with all the roaches, which mm -hmm. freaked me out. Yeah. Uh, Cindy and Alice are lost in the cavern, mm -hmm. but they realize it's laid out like uh, the witch's mark. Yeah. So they know where to go. And mm -hmm. then uh, we, we see some kids that are captured for Capture the Flag, and they're yeah. being held by... A young Justin Silverman. A young Justin Silverman. Fresh-faced and... He's like, you guys want any, like, drinks or anything? So Tony's like, I'm going to take a picture of young Justin Silverman. So I took a picture of it and I tweeted it. And then I'm like, all right, hit play. And young Justin Silverman gets fucking murdered. Murdered to death. <laughs> <laughs> I go, oh no. Rest in peace, yeah. baby Justin Silverman. <laughs> um, Ziggy goes into her backstory yeah. about like when things were good and her family was together. Mm -hmm. but, you know, the witch, I guess, caused bad luck. Uh, she makes out with Future Cop. Yeah. But then everyone finds Justin. And they make she makes out to Future Cop to the original version of Sweet Jane. Right. So it's like poetry. It rhymes. Poetry. It rhymes. Right. Like <laughs> Hopefully it works. Um, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Uh, but yeah, I love when uh, the kids start screaming and they interrupt. They're like, oh my God. Yeah. Look, look at his head's all destroyed. <laughs> right. 
So yeah, Cindy and Alice going through the tunnels, they find just a giant heart. Which came out of nowhere. Yeah, that was a little bizarre. So they go into like, because at this point- The it's giant like, heart hasn't been mentioned yet in no. the lore they've established. So the, it's sort of like the Friday the 13th remake, where Jason has the, the underground, underground tunnels. tunnels. Yeah. And again, they don't, they're, they're, they use the music from Friday the 13th, not the, not the main theme, but yeah, like the-, the, the Yeah, so it's hard to make anything at a summer camp without it either being Friday the 13th or Wet Hot American Summer. Or The Burning. Or The Burning. I love The Burning. Yeah. I think it's a cool movie. Uh, super violent, too. I like mean-spirited 80s slasher movies. like uh, <laughs> Sleep Sleepaway Camp's pretty much the best, though. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. But it's, so it's like, okay, you can't fault them for that, the, for the Friday the 13th. Even characters are named Alice and Tommy and shit yeah. like that. No. But it, 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 it didn't feel like it was hitting you over the head with it. Like American Horror Story. American yeah. Horror Story leans, I never actually okay, leans too hard into the referencing okay. of things. Um, but this felt natural, but the underground tunnels felt like the remake, the Platinum yeah. Dunes one. Um, but then you just get to this room, there's like flies all over, and you're like, oh, what's in here? And then the there's just a big CGI heart in the yeah. middle of the room that's pulsating and beating. It's gross. It's gross. And they just, they're like, oh, that's weird. And, and then, then the one girl touches it like an idiot. Because you're like, why would you touch it? It looks like the rock monster from Star Trek, where Spock had Yeah, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, or like see. in uh, Starship Troopers, it's scared. <laughs> it's and it's scared. like, you guys clearly don't understand that you're not the heroes of this story. I love that the psychic <laughs> had to be like, I need to know what it's saying, but you can clearly tell it's yeah. scared. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when she touches it, she sees all the killers yeah. from, and like all the, like the victims yeah. too. From yeah, previous. people's eyes are pulled out, which I know you love. I hated that. Yeah. I hated every minute of that. Uh, <laughs> then they, they go back to the camp counselors, mm -hmm. the sheriff and whatnot, are getting everyone together, and they're like, there's still 30 kids missing. It's like, oh, Jesus Christ. Because they're still out fucking playing the games. Yeah, because they want to take the uh, bus to leave. Yeah. I like that the bus isn't, like, the bus works. Yeah. Because the killer's not really worried about no, that. No, no. Yeah. The killer's just like, nah, I gotta take it's care of it. It's not like Jack Torrance who destroyed the snow cat so nobody could escape. Yeah, it's like, I'm that just, happens all the time. I just want this, you know? But they're like, all right, we gotta leave, but we gotta find these people first. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Sheriff... And Ziggy and the kid from the new Halloween movie who got killed. The fat kid from the new Halloween movie, yeah. Yeah, they Because uh, when we saw him, we went, oh, that's the kid from the new Halloween movie. I think he was also in the... Was he also in The Tick or The Boys? I don't know. He was either in The Tick or... I didn't watch The Boys, but some of you it was on. You didn't watch The Boys? No, but some of it was on when my girlfriend was watching. Mm -hmm. And I think he might have been either in The Boys or The Tick. I'm mad they he canceled The Tick. He was on something on Amazon. Right. He was on something on Amazon. Swamp Zombies 2. <sighs> Yeah. So while they're all doing this, like looking for the sister, she remembers that like she left the girl in the outhouse. She's like, oh, we should probably get her. Yeah. But before that, we get hippie chick having sex with uh, the other dude. The guy who's and the like the head of the camp. They're basically. both team leaders. Yeah. Which is funny. And he's all like, don't ever tell anyone about Do you think that's what that. happened during the Civil War? Like, yes. they would get together yes. and just like bang. But I like, he's like, don't tell anyone about this. She's like, shady side girls do it better. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I don't think I've ever like bone someone to represent where I'm from like that seems weird I'm not gonna tell the story don't tell the story no, I'm not gonna tell the story uh, like I've never been like oh I need to tell everyone I'm from northeast Philly yes you don't just call out like your your area code as yeah, you come yeah oh 215 <laughs> in the house like what <laughs> oh my god um, the condom broke well you'll be fine <laughs> Uh, and she does drugs. She does do drugs. And he's like, stop doing drugs in here. Uh, and then she gets chopped up. Yeah. She gets like the, the girl on Friday 13th that gets the axe to the face, but she gets it like multiple times. Yeah. <laughs> Again, they really don't hold that. They go all in on the mm -hmm. murder. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's a very axe-centric episode of this one, yeah. too. And I like the second one way more than the first the one. The second though. one's way more fun, yeah. yeah. Uh, Cindy... Talks about her backstory, how she's like a goody two shoes because like all the bad things happen to her mm -hmm. family. She's like, I just have to play it on the straight and narrow so I can yeah. get out of here one day. She's like, I should do drugs and and have sex and yeah. stuff like that. I'm like, yeah. And then Alice reveals that she's a cutter. Because yeah. She's sad all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Cindy's like, yeah, whatever. Look at that red moss. I saw that red <laughs> moss earlier. And then Alice is like, okay. All right, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Fuck me then. <laughs> right, I guess uh, we can make. Talk more about you, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and then Tommy murders a room full of young children. Yeah. <laughs> Which we were not expecting. No, we're like, oh, like, Jesus oh my Christ. God. Casualties of the color war. <laughs> Casualties of the color war. <laughs> 
that joke's a lot funnier if you see the movie. <laughs> and then they're also wearing shirts that say color war. And I'm like, that'd be awkward on set. <laughs> Sheila and Ziggy get into a fist fight. Yeah. And a uh, Halloween guy shows up. Uh, but her sister is underneath the toilet. I love yeah. that. My sister's in the toilet. <laughs> I do like that line, my sister's in the toilet. And then it becomes like a combination of Goonies and uh, Sleepaway Camp 2. Like, yeah. remember when the girls under, under the, the outhouse in that yeah. movie? But, like, a lot of it is set up kind of like Goonies. Like, what are you doing down there? That Like, a lot of the dialogue yeah. feels like Goonies. But I love that there's toilet paper everywhere, but it's like, Oh, look, there's a lot of shit. What's going on there? Well, we don't know because it's been absorbed by the red moss. The red moss ate it. You're right. Which I thought is like, wait a minute. Is this going to turn into like War of the Worlds? <laughs> you know? Uh, Yeah. So they try to lift him up with a bucket. Because the girl fell and like the fucking bone, oh, the bone came bone out. out of her leg. So they lift her up on the thing and then the dude from, uh, Halloween. from Halloween gets fucking his yeah. cap is but tated. I love it because Ziggy and him don't know who the killer is. So Tommy walks in. He's like, hey, Tommy, you need to help me. <laughs> and then the body falls into the toilet and like splatters on the girl. So the girl gets her other leg fucked up, yeah. gets a t gets hit by a, a decapitated guy and falls into shit. Yeah. And I'm like, she's having a bad day. Yes. Uh, but yeah, she. Al well, no, Cindy takes off mm -hmm. to go help Ziggy because Ziggy's running from the killer now. Ziggy misses the bus leaving camp. That was funny. It just goes right past her. Yeah. Uh, and I think at this point, Alice finds the rock. She's like reading the rhyme. It's like yeah. Satan's rock. And she finds the rock. And we find out what she finds there later on. Mm -hmm. uh, but I like that Ziggy sets up a trap. I like that you say he finds the rock. Like, I want to imagine in my version, they like pull the thing away and he does like, like the. If you smell. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, oh my God. Well, they're in a toilet. Do you that's, smell? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, she sets up a trap for the killer, but then it doesn't work. No. Because the song stops playing. Mm -hmm. uh, Carry on my wayward song. Uh, yeah. You're really good at that. Yeah, the killer yeah. fights her. And then this is where he gets the burlap sack. She pulls the, the bag over his head. Yes. And then it just becomes a very form-fitting. Yes, he he must have breathed in really hard. Yeah. And just absorbed And it becomes that. the fucking, the, again, the Friday the 13th remake look of it, you yeah. know? Uh, but that's okay, because Cindy shows up and stabs her own boyfriend, Tommy, to save Ziggy. In the head. Yes. Uh, and they talk about how they're going to be the best sisters forever and ever. Mm -hmm. and, what you call it? The other girl, uh, Alice, finds Satan's stone. Yeah. And that has the witch's hand. Yep. Which was missing from the rest of her body in the previous yep. one. So we're, we're putting, putting them, them all to together. Something. Yep. They go to bury the hand with the body. Mm -hmm. uh, and while this is happening, the heart on the ground just starts spitting up the killers. Yeah. Like, so that's where they come from. The heart the just heart, spits yeah. them out. They, like, form, like, the T-1000. I was thinking, like, kind of like uh, the first Hellraiser movie, mm -hmm. where they, like, form, he, Frank forms under the, the Oh, yeah, it does kind of seem like that, yeah. too. Not as cool looking. No, that's uh, an awesome <laughs> fact. But, yeah, the, um, what'd you call it? Uh, wait, is it Cin Cindy's the sister, right? Cindy's the sister. Why do I keep saying Cindy? I, I keep screwing up my notes. It's all right. Everyone's Cindy, according to my notes. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody, even Tommy, Cindy. So Alice, Alice is uh, the one with the short hair yeah, who slurs her words. The slur, the slur yeah. girl. She, the punk. She wants to go help, and they're like, "No, you're injured." And she decides, "Let me tell you my backstory." This is her like Goonie or her Gremlins like dad went down the thing yeah. story. You know, and I'm so depressed, and Tommy killed the only person I ever loved, and I need to stop this. And then she dies. <laughs> it was so mean spirited too that I went. And then Cindy cuts Tommy's head off. She cuts his head off, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty brutal. Mm -hmm. But then all the other killers emerge from the basement, yeah. which is kind of cool. Because uh, I didn't expect all of them to come out at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, when they get to the tree, mm -hmm. they they find out the rest of the body's missing. Yeah. And there's like a little note, like, she'll never rest in peace or yeah. something. She'll live forever. Mm -hmm. uh, but all they have is the hand. They don't make it out. No, the they killers just, come. Yeah. And the killer's fucking stab the shit out of him. Cindy, that's pretty big. She's like getting chopped over and over <laughs> again while the other one's getting shanked. Yeah. But then she's like talking while she's getting chopped in the chest over and over. And then they like, they like hold hands and they're, they're like, about to hold hands. Yeah. And then they both die. They both die. But we know the other one didn't really die. Yeah. So future cop shows up mm -hmm. and he's like, I'm Jack. Death. I need revenge for my wife. And she goes, <laughs> what? He's like, oh, never mind. Uh, he brings her back to life. Yeah. Which 
gets the so I guess that gets the killer off your tail, yeah. but you're still wanted by the witch. Mm -hmm. I guess. I don't know. We didn't see the third one yet. We have to. We wait didn't and see. see the third We're one. We're gonna see yet. it. Pretty grim ending. Mm -hmm. They show all the little children just. Oh, dead. it's great! In <laughs> front of the camp, there's just all these dead children under sheets, and yeah. I was like, "Holy oh, shit, this is great!" Brutal. Yeah. <laughs> and she's all sad. She's like, "My name's Ziggy," and it's like, "No, her real name's this." Yeah. Uh, then we cut to the future again. Mm -hmm. the Gillian J Gillian Jacobs is talking about like, "Yeah, it was really sad when that happened." Yeah. <laughs> no shit. But they tell her, like, "Hey." We know where the body is. Mm -hmm. Where is the hand? And they go, is it still under the tree? And then we find out the tree is in the mall. Which was great. You and I both went, oh, that's awesome. And then we thought about it. We're like, like that doesn't make sense. No, it, no. They, that would have been dug up yeah. a long time As someone ago. who worked in a mall for as long as yeah. I did, no, that wouldn't. No, you know. they didn't build around that tree. They yeah. would pop that tree up and moved it. Mm -hmm. that, was, that was a little bizarre. Uh, but again, it was it was 1994, so whatever things were different. But yeah, so Dina takes the thing back to where they buried it mm -hmm. in the guy's jacket. Uh, but then she touches the hand. She starts bleeding out of her nose yeah. again, which she did before Sam. Yep. So I want to know like what's going mm -hmm. on there. And then while this is happening, uh, Ziggy calls the sheriff. Yeah, like he's, he said you. She said you were in the Judy Bloom book, book club. club is that yeah. a thing? And he pulls the car over. <laughs> um, and then what's it called? Dina unites the pieces. And then she gets sent back into Sarah Fear's body. In 1666. Yes, just like Trancers. Yes. She's sent back yep. in time. What if we find out, like, kind of like uh, Split was a mm. secret unbreakable sequel? What this if this Trancer. reveals that it's Trancer 7? And we're like, what the fuck, Netflix? Newt, Newt, do me a favor. Can you look under there and pull something out? My penis? No, the oh. tape, oh, asshole. Okay. Newt, that looks like all six Trancers movies. And we're going to cover them all on 2B Tuesdays. Yep. Well, we already covered the first one. Should I put my penis back in? No, yeah, well, yeah, put your penis okay. away. Uh, yes, yeah, so at the, the VHS Fest, someone had all six, and I couldn't resist. I had to get all of them, <laughs> even though we've already covered the part yep. one. And even though they're all already on Tubi. Well, I am I'm probably extremely gonna... excited to watch part two, though. I am very excited. Just from excited. the trailer. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 2B Tuesdays is coming back. Mm -hmm. I did a little Patreon yeah. update, but yeah, we've... We've been losing a lot of weekends, so we had to really rush to yeah. do like uh, extra episodes. But yeah, now let's talk about the third one. Oh, it's not out yet. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's go to Joe Bob's Drive-In Jamboree. Yeah. And uh, when we get back, we'll do part three. And I sure hope nothing crazy happens to the store while we're away. Exactly. Hi, this is Tony for Back the Movies. We're having. And new for Mac Movies. Hey, Chris, and we're having a great time at the Mahoning Drive-In. It's a beautiful, lovely day. Hammerman, can you look at this lovely? Look how great that is. Oh yeah. I think every time we come here, every Chris, time we come here, board. this happens. It's almost like we're the problem. Oh, oh shit! No. Oh my god! Did you get that? Who are you? Where's Tony? Hi, I'm the new person. I'm supposed to be reviewing Fear Street 1666. Oh, really? Yeah, they left us a note. Uh, it says, Dear Jessica, please watch and take notes for Fear Street 1666 while we're away. You'll be replacing Johanna because she sucks and we hate her and she will never be as famous or as important as us. Oh, okay. Oh my god! No. Man, that sure was a fun weekend at the drive-in, wasn't it, dude? So much fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, they died. I agree. Well, here we all are. My good friend, Newt, and Johanna, you're joining us now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I don't know, I was real excited for the new person to join us, but they unfortunately died. Yeah. Yeah, how unfortunate. What a crazy weekend. It sure was. It was a crazy weekend. <laughs> we had the rain, the heat, the constant humidity. It more was rain, nuts. more wind. More rain, more wind. So monsoon. <laughs> Hopefully we got that footage and we inserted it in here of how crazy it was. Mm -hmm. Johanna, welcome back from Arizona. I hope the audit Can went well. stop? <laughs> Stop it! That's right. The audit isn't going well. I'll, I'm sorry I brought it up. I know you're very, you're very concerned about that. Uh, I hope it goes well Why for you. Why are you like this? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm reminding you of failures. Oh my god. Okay. Anyway, Your life's a failure. We're here to talk about Fear Street 1666, Part Three. 
But in dream, did we already make this joke? Yeah, in the- we made Damn it, we already did yeah. the 1999 yep. joke. Yep. Did you know that in dreams, 666 is often seen upside down? Okay. With a one in front of it. Like in night. Oh, did you watch our end of days review? No. I don't watch anything on Hack the Movies. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> so we pick up where we left off. Uh, Dina is now in the body of Sarah Fear. She had quantum leaped. She quantum leaped? Quantum yeah. No, but it, she didn't really quantum leap. No. Because she, she's not like, she's not manipulating the body. Yeah. She's just seeing things through her eyes. And I bet you she would enjoy manipulating a, that lady's body. <laughs> Anyway, uh, <laughs> but it would be uh, her though, so it's that's kind of weird. It's like yeah. I always wanted to clone myself and have sex with myself just to see what all the hoopla. I feel about. like everybody's like that yeah. though. I, I would definitely. Yeah, do I was like, you know, I just want to hear what all the see what all the hoopla is about. What about you? <laughs> what do you want to do, Tony? Uh, before we start, yeah, I want to say I rewatched the first two before watching this again. Mm-hmm. I didn't realize you have a lot of free time on your hands. You, yeah, <laughs> nothing but time. Uh, <laughs> I never, I didn't realize Nurse Lane was mm-hmm. in the first one. Yeah. yeah. She's the one that baby, I didn't realize that. Like, yeah, yeah. everybody's in every single one. And I didn't realize the fat cop was also the Super 70s cop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it took me yep. a minute to like mm-hmm. piece those together. Uh, but yeah, so Dina is now in Sarah's body and I like everyone she sees looks like her friends, but that's not what they really look like. Yeah. Because then her dad would be well, very friend, confused. It's friends and other people that she's like seen through other people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like her just projecting so it wasn't like a cloud atlas kind of thing yeah. it was not a cloud well, atlas. she saw ziggy she's never seen ziggy as a child before yes and so also like, their dad was super white uh yeah. and it's the <laughs> the teacher from stranger things right the one who teaches them about the upside down i think that's the guy playing their dad i would have to look again 1666 so white <laughs> hashtag <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so the cliffhanger in the last one was that she was bleeding and everyone was screaming her name but it was actually she was giving birth to piglets yeah and then she had to use a knife on the pig. Yeah, it cuts open her. <laughs> Is it a C-section? No, it's not a C-section. It's more like they couldn't get the baby out, whatever. So they have to make the hole a little bigger. So like, have you ever like seen like an actual birth where they actually cut that line between the butt and the vagina? No, Johanna. I... They add the... You never, never heard of like they heard they added, was it the extra stitch or whatever it was? Tony didn't know that there was more than one hole down there. <laughs> <laughs> Explains a lot. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> Everything makes sense to me. Yeah, now. exactly. <laughs> yep. Guys, what a coincidence. Sarah Fear was also a lesbian. <laughs> so we talked about the first one. We're like, okay, they're lesbians, but it's like not a big deal. It's the 90s. And also Netflix has trained us to realize like this is not a big deal. Like relax. That's why we thought it was weird with the fake out with Sam. Like, it did okay. get kind of funny. It did get way more pandering. In, in this, this one, one, I was yeah. like, okay, now, but I mean, I get it. It's the 1600s. It was more of a big deal back then. So you're saying lesbians didn't exist in the 1600s? Oh, no, they did. They yeah. just weren't allowed to. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this one really, like, they saved They saved all their, like, real messaging and stuff for the last mm-hmm. entry. But yeah, she's really good at giving birth to pigs. Yeah. She gives birth to pigs? Yes. Okay. Uh, she's, what is, what is, she's the surrogate. <laughs> And she's <laughs> Ew. and she's super into what was the character's name? Who's Sam in this version? Hannah. 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 That's right. She's super into Hannah, who also has the same mom as she does in the future. Yeah. Uh, same type it's of like relationship. It's like poetry. It all rhymes. It's like poetry. It, <laughs> it rhymes. Really Hopefully, it works. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Uh, but we yeah, made so- that joke in the other one as well too. <laughs> Recycle. We haven't even been doing this a year, and we've already been repeating ourselves. <laughs> I'm thinking that my uh, my Alzheimer's is part of that. Oh my though, god! Yeah. So. so she goes to meet Solomon Good in the woods. Solomon Grundy. Yeah, Solomon Grundy, mm-hmm. born on a Monday. Yeah, uh, and he is Sheriff Good. Yeah, same actor. Yeah, and he's all he's Except all he just got a beard. Yeah, and he's sad because his wife and kid died. So she's like, "Here's a piglet." And he's like, "This is the greatest thing ever." And I'm like, "You know, in 1666, that probably would be like, <laughs> man, my wife and kid died. I'm like, oh, I got a pig." Apparently, they had That's like awesome. a, a close relationship too, because like the dad made a comment before she left, saying that like, "Oh, like you guys should get married," and she's just like, "Nah." Oh, okay. that's right. Tony's that's when you mom just... said that in a voicemail uh, episode about Tony and I. Yeah, my <laughs> mom. Yeah. Said that Tony and I should get married. We might have also mentioned that in this episode. Yeah. This is what happens when we shoot part of the episode and then leave for a weekend. We forget what. And we then said. we don't. We didn't sleep very much for the last three we days. Did not sleep no. very much. Yeah. <laughs> Justin uh, Silverman and I drank a lot in a pool. 
<laughs> James just kept giving us old fashions. I was like, well, when in Rome, <laughs> when in Jim Thorpe. So that, that whiskey on the rocks joke, by the way. Yeah. Oh, that was so funny. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so what's the thing they're going to at night? This like party They're that everyone already knows about, but like they don't all condone. It's a kids party, basically. Yeah, which I don't think is historically accurate. Yeah, like with religious white weirdos like that, I don't think that they're in the woods doing that shit. Also, if they did do it, I'm pretty sure then they all would have been hanged because yeah, they'd been like exactly. witchcraft. Yeah, especially because the full moon was out that night too. So like, yeah, yeah. You know who wasn't hung? The dude whose wiener was showing. <laughs> <him. laughs> I forgot about boner guy. Yeah. So they're all dancing. <laughs> that oh wait, 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 wait. That was a before they go to the party, <laughs> yeah, drug dealer girl, yeah, drug dealer cheerleader, cheerleader. She's also a berry dealer in the past. Uh, they go to visit an old lady in the woods to get special berries. Yeah, and the old lady is the nurse lane character. Mm, yeah. She's like a witch. Uh, and what does she say to like Sarah? She's like, "You're like the, the book will eat you from the inside." Yeah, because she started like reading all the names of uh, like. It's names of Satan, basically. It was like, was it Beelzebub? Yeah. And Abaddon, which is a wrestler now. And uh, uh, they Beelzebub, said the Morning Satan. Star, which was funny because literally James, Justin, and I were talking about this at Red Lobster last night because <laughs> we wanted to visit Cheddar Bay. Yeah. Uh, and we passed a uh, church that was called Morning Star. And I was like, oh, like, that's one of the names of Satan. It's in his, like the last Bible. name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's his last name? Satan Morning Star? It's Lucifer Broncowitz. Morningstar, but... Lucifer? <laughs> yeah, Broncowitz. <laughs> Lucifer Broncowitz. <laughs> Dash yeah. Morningstar. What was it in Devil's Advocate? It was uh, it was the name of a writer, right? Uh, it was uh, Dante? No, no. no. Um, uh, John Milton? Oh, yeah, yeah, John yeah, Milton, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Watch your Devil's Advocate. Right Milton now. from Office Space. Right, John yeah. Milton from Office Space. They moved into the thing. basement because it's hell. It's religious because God cast him out of heaven. <laughs> It all makes sense. Isn't John Milton the director of the Stab movies in Scream 3? Oh, I forget. I've never I'm seen Scream 3 or 4. Really? Yeah. I actually like 4. Lance 3 is ridiculous. 4 is awesome. 3 sucks. Jay and Silent Bob are in 3. I saw that clip and I was like, yeah. how did we get here? Yeah. No, uh, Lance Hemrickson is the... Uh, from Alien 3. <laughs> he's the director in Scream 3. And at one point, the movie wants you to think he's the killer. But, like, if you were watching Millennium at the mm -hmm. same time and you saw Lance Hemrickson running in that show, yeah. you're like, he's not the killer. He, no. he can't run that fast. <laughs> uh, anyway, they uh, the evil lady is like... Yeah, what was her name? I can't remember. Evil lady. Evil lady. Was it, like, yeah. the crone or something? I can't remember. I don't know. But she's like, get out of here. The kids here. in the neighborhood are going to start calling you in a couple years. Probably. She's like, <laughs> get out of here. Stop reading my witch book. Be gone. With a skeleton and a clan outfit. <laughs> yes. And then they're like, let's get our magic berries. And then they go and they're partying and they're doing drugs. Mm -hmm. Which are the berries? They, they were having the party that the girl is having at the end of the VVITCH. Um, oh, right. Where, right. where they're all <laughs> like, This one really feels like the Vivitch. Yeah. Well, no, it feels like uh, American Horror Story. Like they're trying to do American Horror Story. I never watched um, it and like with, with like the reusing the same characters type, well, yeah, well, and just the feel of it and all, because everyone in this movie in this part feels too modern to be in this. Like the actors look too modern, and their their accents are really bad. Well, remember that's not what they're supposed. No, I know. To look I'm just like. saying. She's, yeah, yeah, I yeah. get it. I get. It. I understand. I understand. Uh, are you hip with it? I understand filmmaking, Tony. So anyway, <laughs> some guy wants to like sleep with one of the girls, and he's got a raging heart on. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna cover that up. Like they make no. fun of it, which I said is what we probably you would probably do to Tony when you guys were laugh uh, dating. Just point at it and laugh. But I did. Oh, all right. Do you ever see like that Guantanamo Bay picture where like they have that detainee and he's like they're pointing at his penis and laughing? I imagine like somewhere on like MySpace, there's a picture of that that you took. Like, <laughs> okay, four chan. Oh. So, <laughs> so when people click on this video, yeah. To talk about the new young hip LGBTQ friendly slasher film, mm -hmm. they're probably not going to expect the Guantanamo Bay picture. They don't to even be know. What, they don't even know what that is. Everybody <laughs> who watches this show is either my age or five. We learned <laughs> over the weekend. We met a little kid from Texas uh, who it was a, is a big fan of the show, and he's five years old. And that's awesome that his parents let him watch that. But he asked me if I he asked me if I was yeah. famous. Yeah. And then he and then he asked why I was trying why Newt was trying to cancel me. Yeah. And I said because Newt's Newt's jealous of my free flowing hair. Yeah. While he's rocking a toupee. That he put a hat on because he's like, oh my hair's sticking up in the back because I had to well, wear I, headphones. I don't want to look like you, Mr. Toupee. 
No, it's called. I think his hair looks nice. It's called. I started Go getting. Ahead. I started getting a haircut, <laughs> and then Ryan goes, "Hey, you're needed back at the office, like now." So I had to get up from the great clips thing and be like, "Here's some money. Uh, we'll get this finished another time." <laughs> So, there were a lot of comments about your haircut yeah. this week. <laughs> it also, dude, it fucking rained. It was bad every no, no. day. They know, they know. Uh, yeah, so he, he gets. And if, do you really think I care about how I look? Look at me. I gave up a long time ago. <laughs> every day I go, look, this is the best I can do. Okay. <laughs> so the girls go to uh, scurry away. Yeah, with their with their little uh, halo made of that red moss. What is the red moss? Is it just red moss? I think it's just red moss, but technically that would be like a flower crown, but it's moss. Well, they're very poor. They can't afford flowers. I wear this. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. All right. So uh, they're going down on each other, there, which but... um, would Was chicks it... in 1666 know how to do that right? Do guys now know how to do that right? <laughs> True. <laughs> I wonder if like they would even know what to do, like what, what, what the reference. I mean, I guess they could figure it out, but they were like good at it right away. That was the she weird, went right for it. Like there would be some awkwardness, especially in 1666. Also, it's probably both of their first time, so like yeah. But they look like they'd been there, and these are they, they are grown up with porn. It's not like they're getting pointers yeah. ahead of time. <laughs> I thought that was a little unrealistic. It took me out of this evil witch zombie movie. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I got up and I went, I disagree with this mm. decision. Uh, but while they're doing that, someone's stalking them. Yeah. And one of them is Mad Thomas, who's the Thomas guy from the future, but he's mm. like an alcoholic going around telling everyone they're not religious enough. Yeah. His teeth are nasty. His teeth are nasty. And he has like the 90s son haircut from a TV show. Yeah. Like he looks like the oldest son from Home Improvement. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It's all uh -huh. like it looks like it's like super gel, but it's just like grease and it's just mm. hanging. Yeah. It's so gross. He's Aaron, and, um, he's Aaron Carter. <laughs> uh, oh, earlier in this, we met the the pastor who yeah. we were told earlier in the uh, series that mm -hmm. he was like the first killer. Yeah. Uh, what's her face? The Ziggy actress is like pulling a prank on him or something. But he's supposed to be this nice guy that everyone loves. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, but after she's with all the children, yeah, yeah, yeah supposed yeah. to be good with the children. Yeah. So then uh, after they go down on each other, uh, God gets pissed. Uh, and <laughs> and uh, what's your call it? The, the pastor starts becoming possessed. Yeah. He's just whispering to himself and no one's taking it probably as seriously as they should. No, because it's the 1600s and they're like. Yeah, but no one's just like, hey, buddy. What's going on? Hey, uh, you're whispering, whispering to yourself a lot. Like, that's not something you usually do. Well, God's talking to him. I would hope you guys, if you saw me in the store, just like whispering, you'd be like, hey, hey, buddy, you OK? I'm not saying anything, though. I'm just going to cave his head in with a rock. And he just <laughs> I don't know if any of you have been like to like, I don't know, 7-Eleven or something at like three o'clock in the morning. And there's like strange people and they're talking to themselves. I just get what I need to do and go. Yeah, but they're not your friend. I'm your friend, you assholes. I I imagine if I'm whispering to myself and just staring off into space. You'd want to like. See if I was okay. They go, wow, you know. I'm not the meth head at 7-Eleven, you asshole. They're like, you know, <laughs> <Are> you? <laughs> you know, rental reviews getting canceled and the Boss Baby episode and the, the Toy Boss Story ba episode. The triple whammy of the Boss Baby. <laughs> and Black Widow. Toy Story, Black Widow episode not doing well. I swear to God, if this episode doesn't go well. And Tony's brain just breaks and he's just whispering, I am God, I am Buddha, I am alive. I'm gonna, I'm, <laughs> the next episode, I'm just going to wear a paper bag that says I'm not famous anymore. Like Can we Shia get you a Bob. dunce cap? No. Anyway. What if we put a plastic bag over your head and then we'll tie it real tight in the back? <laughs> I'm okay with that. Okay. So stuff is going wrong at the pastor's yeah. house. And of course the mom blames lesbianism. Mm -hmm. That's the word, right? Why are you looking at me? <laughs> well, you would know. Yeah. But yeah. Aren't you a member of that community? I'm just an ally. Well, I'm not a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Your fiance is watching goes, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so like, well, thank God. That was a little work. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> um, my get out of jail free card. <laughs> yeah, so the mom's like, get out of here. Everyone knows that you were going down on each other in the woods. And she's like, do you know what going down on is, mom? And she's like, no, but I heard about I've it. I've heard things. Maybe she needs it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think uh, they all need it. But apparently Drunk Thomas was spying yeah, on people them. Would be, like, a lot of these people would be way less like uptight if like more people just dined at the Y down there, you know? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so yeah uh, what's your call? <laughs> Thomas yeah. saw them like hooking up mm -hmm. and he ran around telling everyone. Yeah. 
And like, I don't know, I went to parties where girls were hooking up and they did it in front of everyone. So there was no need to tell anyone. But if he did, it'd be like, hey, there's two chicks making out. And they'd be were like, you the Whatever. guy who just sat there and watched? <laughs> You're like, just in the corner. <laughs> Have you? <laughs> Well, it depends. If it was just straight girls like trying to be hot, it's yeah. like, oh, whatever. But it was like real. And there so you're like, going to fetishize When it was real and there lesbians. was like romance and emotion, I was like, ew. You're going to ignore what I said? What did you say? You're going to fetish Fetishize? <laughs> yeah. You know, maybe you should have repeated it. We were better off when it was slipped by. <laughs> yeah. You were saying that you would not watch if it was straight girls, but you would watch if it was lesbians? No, no, no. I would watch if it was straight girls because it was only done for like a second. But then, like, it's the same same as watching a straight couple, like, make out at a party. You're like, go yeah. somewhere else. Yeah. Like, I don't like that. No. There was a dude, our, our friend, um, actually, he's not our friend. He's not my friend. He was my roommate. He wasn't your friend. I'm not going to say his name. When I lived at uh, Temple, ah. he had a cousin come one time. Yeah, I don't he know did. if he went to this party. And, like, he came in. He's like, hey, guys, this is the most beautiful girl in the world. He, like, introduced his girlfriend. And we're like, Hi. And then the rest of the night, he kept, like, making out with her in front of us to the point where just, like, we're all just trying to have beers and, like, talk and chat. And it's like, oh, oh, there they go again. I'm totally straight. And this is totally not the first time a girl's ever touched yeah. me. And then he kept, like, doing it all night long. And we all got uncomfortable. And then, like, apparently the next day, he was like, huh. yeah, I think I'm going to break up with her. I'm not really feeling it. And it's like, why were you making us feel awkward all goddamn night? You were basically having sex in front of us, and now you're just like, I'm not really into her. I'm really hoping this show huh. gets popular enough that one day I can lose my religion. <laughs> or my religion, my religion. My virginity. <laughs> Fuck that up. You already lost your religion, which I'm yeah. going to bring up at some Look, point. that's me in the corner. That's me <laughs> in the spotlight. spotlight. <laughs> oh, my God. I used to dance to that song as a little Did kid. you? Yeah. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> so the whole town is disgusted by the hot lesbian action. Yeah. Um, remember when WWE had the lesbians? Yeah. That was like a thing you could do at WWE. Do you ever look point. at like a map of America, like Pornhub puts up like, what's the most searched things in in the, all the states? And always their super oppressed anti-gay states are the ones who watch the most lesbian yep. porn, you know? <laughs> but yeah, so they're like- We're on to you. They're like, that's too much hot lesbian action. Get out of here. Never Vince enough. McMahon's like, I like that idea. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they were the, who were they? Who were the lesbians in WWE? I don't remember. There were like just some girls called the lesbians at some point. In what WWE. if they were Lebanese lesbians? <laughs> yeah, that's what they meant. That's what they meant. You ready, Jerry? Welcome, the lesbians! And tonight! Hey, I think I see it. Uh, whoa! Right here on the one that again. Yes, yes! Now this is the first time ever. Remember, um, Wait, there's like a vine or something like that where they're like, Oh, yeah, I'm a lesbian. <laughs> do, you, do you remember? Oh, what was it? Billy? They were like, I thought you were American. <laughs> remember when Billy Gunn was gay in WWE? The oh. Billy and Chuck? Yeah. They were like the first gay tag team, and it was like a big deal. And like, uh, the glad people were taking notice, and they're like, Oh, how progressive of WWE to do this. And then they were going to have the first televised gay wedding on WWE. And uh, wait a yeah. minute. So these are the first gay guys in wrestling. You've seen wrestling. Yeah, right? yeah these are the first <laughs> like out, out. But anyway, here's here's how WWE took a little bit of goodwill and just threw it away. Yeah. So at the wedding of Billy and Chuck, we'll get back to Fear Street eventually. <laughs> <laughs> the wedding of Billy and Chuck. Uh, Wasn't that the Ke Kevin James and Adam Sandler movie? Wasn't it like Billy and Chuck? Chuck or and Chuck and, and now it's Chuck and Adam or. Chuck Chuck and something. Yeah, Chuck Adam and, and Steve. And what, 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 is it, yeah. what is it those fucking people Adam say? It's like, uh, not Adam not Adam and Steve. And it's like, you know what? Maybe you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Billy and Chuck. I think it's Bill, it was Billy and Chuck. I know it was definitely Billy Gunn. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong about the other one, but they were about to have their gay wedding. Mm -hmm. It was very, very beautiful. And then the Godfather came out with all the hoes. And he's like... Why do you want to get married to a man, Billy? Look at all them hoes. And then Billy Gunn was like, I am no longer gay. And then and then the glad people were like, what the fuck, WWE? I mean, I get it, but they're also like, <laughs> a gaggle of hoes is also. A gaggle of hoes. Yeah, a gaggle of hoes. Is that is, a group of yeah, women, a gaggle yeah, of hoes? a gaggle of hoes is a powerful drug. A murder of ravens. Yeah. <laughs> a gaggle a of A murder hose. of hoes. <laughs> a murder of hoes. <laughs> Whoa. So anyway. Wasn't that Jack the Ripper? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the dad, 
Sarah's dad. We're back to fear. Story. Okay, good. <laughs> we were off in the weeds for a while there. So Sarah's dad is like, I failed. Your mother died and I raised you as a boy and that's why you're a lesbian now. And I'm like, I'm not sure how that's how that works, but okay. Again, <laughs> um, I, it, can see, it was... I can see how someone in 1666 thought that was how that worked. That's very progressive, though, because I imagine if it was 1666, it's like, well, we're putting you in the well where the dog is. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. We got to get up to the dog at some point. But yeah, you know what? It, it is very progressive. Yeah. They, normally, they'd be like the rest of the town, like, you're talking to the devil. You were dancing with the devil. And yeah. he's like... In the uh, pale one's moonlight. probably me and have a strong female in your life. Like I, that, that is progressive for 1666. Tony was raised by his mother, who <clears throat> may or may not be a lesbian, as we found out from a couple the last episode. Yeah. So that explains how you dress. Yeah. <laughs> My mom was real into Melissa Etheridge, played softball. Uh, yeah. I mean, the same can be said about your sister, though. Yeah, I'm surprised both of them. <laughs> I mean, like, I don't want to believe in stereotypes. Yeah, they're all very But they like, were kind of checking off most of the And then the there's Tony. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I'm the straightest of all of them. <laughs> yeah, you are, buddy. In comparison to you. That's anyway, right. the town is being cursed now. Their food is decaying. Yeah. Everything's all gross. Her stupid dog ran away. <laughs> where the fuck's that stupid dog? Uh, guess where the stupid dog is? The bottom of the well. It's in the bottom of the well. So someone just tied up the dog and threw it in the well? Poisoning their water supply. No, I think they just scooped it out. I think it just was in the well. But someone had to throw it into the well. well or it jumped down itself because it's like, I don't want to be yeah, in Fear crazy. Street. I don't want to be in Fear Street 1666. Eaten. Oh, yeah, that's right. I, mi I missed that. The, the 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 mother pig ate her piglets, <laughs> which is pretty fucking brutal. Charlotte's like, no, no, <laughs> she, just, she writes in the web, no. You know that actually happened. Uh, I bought a hamster. Yeah, I didn't know she was pregnant. Yeah, I just got this hamster, and they were stupid and left a male one, and with, and they're gonna, you know, and they're gonna what? No. Cuddle? They're gonna have sex. Oh my god! This so, is a family show! <laughs> Where? There's a, there's a five year old from Texas watching. He well, just learned the about birds Billy and, and the bees. <laughs> anyway, um, so one day I went to go change her food and I'm looking, I'm like, what the hell is this pink shit? Like, mm -hmm. I, I didn't put pink stuff in the food. And then they started moving and I'm like, oh my god, they're babies. And then, like, a few weeks later, the mom decided to eat some of the babies. And some of the babies ganged up on that other baby. So, yeah, animals are assholes. Like, yeah. why, why don't people realize? Like, animals are just like total assholes. But anyway, I was like traumatized. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I can see how that'd be traumatizing. But yeah, this pig eats all her piglets, and then Sarah's just like, well, this pig's got to die. But then the brother like pukes, and I'm like, homie. Like, you're telling me you've never seen an animal get chopped up? That's kind of what you fucking And not even that, do. like, you just saw the friggin' yeah. dead babies everywhere being ripped apart. Like She had to make a bigger hole that Tony didn't even know existed before this movie. Like, <laughs> no, you're fine. Like, <laughs> <sighs> we're having fun here. This is what we so Sarah confesses to the sheriff. Yeah. Not sheriff. Mm -hmm. I keep writing my notes, not sheriff. What mm -hmm. was his name? Solomon. Solomon Good. Grundy. She's all like... Yes. She's so like, oh my god, I read from the book. Did I bring the devil? And he's just like, no, you have to invite the devil in. It's like, you know a lot about the Wait devil. Wait a minute, like the devil's a vampire now? Like, you have to, like, invite him in? Yes. Yeah. Uh, and then in the town, the pastor has locked all the kids in the church. And again, this... Himself this and the kids. We mentioned this previously. Uh, this show, like, totally this show is, like, it feels like fun, young, preteen adventure. Mm. But then it gets, like... Horrifyingly graphic. You want to know serious? why? Why? Because it's R.L. Stein. I know. But he about the, the goosebump stuff, and then all of a sudden he was like, "You know what? Let's add in the gore." Yeah, but like the gore is just so. It does not match the rest of the you show. You know what preen teens like? Removing the eyeballs of impressionable, god fearing well, this, children. This was the second worst part of the whole trilogy. He removed the eyeballs of all the children mm -hmm. in the town. Yeah. Except for like a handful. I don't remember And that. even his own eyeballs. And then he put them in like a pile on the ground. I'm like, oh God. I didn't know what that was at first. I'm looking, I'm like, what also, is that? Also, did he that? like poison those kids first? Like, like I'm sure they'll die eventually of having their eyes ripped out, but and it's the I don't think they'd all just, your eyes get ripped out and you're like, okay, well, I'm going to sit down now and die. Like, mm -hmm. I don't think that's how that works. I think that he either killed them prior, poisoned them, or they were literally so traumatized by it, whatever, that they're you know, they all sat down. I, no, I think that he put them up together. Uh, or he gave him some of those electric go-go berries. <laughs> That's right. That's you know? right. <laughs> I want to try those berries. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, so the pastor... When I, I was think- a kid, I ate... Uh, we were playing at my cousin's house, and she lived in Clarksboro, New Jersey, and had, like, this massive patch of land in a farm, and we I ate a berry that was on the thing, and her dad was like, oh, yeah, you're going to get really sick from that. And I was like, oh, no, it looked so good. And then I had, like, diarrhea that just would not stop coming out, and it looked like spin art. Like, it was just... <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, I was like, thought I, everybody else was playing in the pool, and I was like, I'll be, I was like six at this point, and I'm like, I'll be okay, and then I get in the pool that I had diarrhea underwater. <laughs> <laughs> but it was the kind of diarrhea where like your mouth goes slack and your eyes roll back in your head. <laughs> I think I shit out like a band aid. <laughs> <laughs> so I used to I dated this girl and I brought her to, over to meet my parents and my mom told that story. She didn't want to fuck me before and that just confirmed it. But like You were a child! <laughs> Again. What, what did you think? You're gonna get your shit on? I just kept going, oh, oh. <laughs> It's happening again. <laughs> and you're wearing the, the swimsuit that has like the mesh thing inside of it. It's <laughs> I looked like I was clamming when you took it. <laughs> Shut up! Stop adding details, you dick! I'm actually crying. And I was oh like, well, when I'm okay, can I come play Nintendo with you? And you're like, no, maybe you should just stay over there. <sighs> so me, back give to- Give me a second. <laughs> again, again. There's some... All of my memory, you know they say memory lane, all of my memories are Fear Street. <laughs> so, oh my God. somewhere out there right now, <laughs> there's, a, there's a young LGBTQ person. Yeah. Came out during Pride Month and then they see this Fear Street thing. And they're like, the representation's great. And then they see our video <laughs> and they click on it. They're like, see what these two cis white men have to say. And then they're listening to. I don't to, exist, I guess. And yeah. then they're listening to the wedding of Billy and Chuck and you just shit. My the asshole pool. turning inside out. Like, meanwhile, they're trying to like find us saying mean things and they're like, what the fuck? This is gross, too. <laughs> Apologies to that fictional person I just made up. Oh my God, I feel so bad. Whoever has to edit this. <laughs> So it was really creepy when the sheriff yeah. uh, somehow knew Sarah was there, even though he didn't have eyes. So that mm-hmm. was very creepy. He's like Daredevil. Not the sheriff, the pastor. But then the sheriff kills the pastor. Mm-hmm. Ah, that's pretty ugly. Well, like, isn't it like a, like a thing where they can sense the blood? Isn't that like the ongoing? Yes, that's right. They like sense so. blood or whatever. Uh, and then people are trying to blame. Like they're trying to blame someone on yeah. this. And I agree with the drunk guy. The town needs more Jesus. Just like Newt needs more Jesus. God is constantly trying to kill Newt. His jaw is fake. He had spinal cancer. What else happened to you? My butthole opened up like that flower from the butthole opened up like a flower. You had to get shit in a pool. I shit in a pool. You had to get a skin graft. I did. Yeah, Justin. I wore shorts at the thing, and Justin's like, "What the fuck happened to your leg?" I'm like, "Oh, I just finished telling everybody how I'm self conscious about wearing shorts because I had a skin graft on my leg from a terrible burn." But thanks for pointing it out to everyone. Newt, God is. Then I poop my pants again at the drive-in, and (laughs) Newt. Just go to church. Like, how many signs do you need to let Jesus into your heart? <laughs> how many? Jesus Christ. Exactly. We're going to do Passion of the Christ. I'm going to get Jesus on the show. And the whole time he's going to be like, dude, you need to convert. Or my dad's going to try and kill you again. No, dude. but it's crippled Jesus. And I look at him <laughs> and I go, wait a minute. No, nah, I'm good. <laughs> I'll continue to live my sinful ways. Can we Cripple, try to find one of those? Crippled Jesus is the name of an online personality. Not, d- d- we're not, d- d- it's, a, it's a person, not a not a Jesus. Can we try to find one of those um, homeless people who dress like Jesus and just kind of like walk around acting like they're Jesus? <laughs> have you ever seen that? No, they're like in have, Philly. No, because no, we have a Roman helmet in there. I'm putting that on and having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Boner Guy is like, I know who the, the devil lady is. The chick it's who laughed at my boner. <laughs> those two girls that laughed at my boner. <laughs> They did it, and they, they were dancing with the devil, and I saw it, and everyone's like, yep, that's exactly yep. how it happened. And then he, some of them were like, that's not what happened. We were all there. And yeah, like, but he's a, he's a white man in the 1600s, so clearly he's right. <laughs> I'm glad we've progressed past that as a society. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. yeah, I like how all of a sudden, too, that like 
majority of the um, town just was like, yeah, I saw them too. And it's like, you weren't there. What are you talking about? Yeah, Did you ever read about the sale of witch trials? No, I know. <laughs> well, I mean, this is showing me that apparently the dad just was like, all right, whatever, you're a lesbian, but it's my fault because I raised you as a dude. So yeah. I don't, I don't know how to react to some of this stuff because it's... No. Yeah. When we were in high school, um, right before we got into the, uh, no, it was middle school, right before we got into the whole chapter about the Salem witch trials, I had this history teacher and she like said to this one girl, she's like, well, I heard you cheated on this test and she's the one who told me. And she was trying to do like the thing where to show and I, we got like five minutes to know and this girl's crying her eyes out and I go, we're talking about the Salem witch trials next. Why doesn't anybody get this is what this is? And the teacher got mad at me that I like ruined her ploy. But instead this girl was sitting there hyper, her name is Tracy. She was sitting there hyperventilating and like oh crying God. and I'm just like I understand the the tactic you were trying to use as a teacher but there's probably better ways to do that yeah. than this and I'll never forget that memory of just being like well clearly I know what's going on but that's fucked up. Also who cares about cheating on tests? Yeah. Schools are just training you to be a worker, be a cog in the machine and most of your job is just lying about stuff anyway. So cheating is a good thing. Yeah. Homeschool your kids, but not in like a weird way. Anyway, uh, they capture Hannah. As the dude is telling me to find Jesus. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, they capture Hannah mm -hmm. and they vow to find Sarah next. And that's when I realized Sarah plays a lot of Assassin's Creed because she's hiding in the bushes. Because, you know, in, in Assassin's Creed, when you hide in the bushes, the enemies can't see you. And mm -hmm. then she takes a rock and throws it, much like Assassin's Creed when you throw rocks. Yeah, just that game ever did that. Just that game. Nothing Literally. before that. No, nope, just like that. Mm. And then and then she jumps up in the air and a blade comes out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought that was weird in this movie. I was yeah, like, that was a little bizarre, too. And that she was played by Michael Fassbender. For <laughs> I know. <a> <laughs> I, off and I was like, what's going on there? Uh, but she goes in there and uh, Hannah's going to be hanged. Mm -hmm. And she's like, it doesn't matter. They have already made up their mind. And, yeah. then, and then Sarah's like, I got a great idea. I'm going to go sell my soul to the devil and try to save you. And at no point does Hannah go, I think that's going to make things. You probably shouldn't do no, that. No, like, worse. I, and she goes, I know, but the movie has to happen. <laughs> it's like, hey, I know the situation's fucked, but like, maybe I'll take one for the team. You don't have to condemn your eternal soul. Just get the fuck out of town. Mm -hmm. She said, forget the situation they got me facing. I can't live a normal life. I was raised by the streets, but I got to be down with the hood. See, too much television watching got me chasing dreams. You know what that's from? Gangster's Paradise. Right? I know it's Please. Gangster's Paradise. Right. <sighs> Tell me why are we so it's blind to see <laughs> that the ones you <laughs> hurt are you, are you and, and me? me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Michelle Pfeiffer comes in and like turns her seat backwards and like Hey, hip. hey hip Coolio. <laughs> it's got your name, it's in your name, Coolio. So Sarah goes to the witch's cabin, mm -hmm. and the witch is dead! Oh my god. Her neck is slit, the, the book is gone! Who could have done this? I wonder who it is! So she goes to, uh, what's his, what was his name again? Not sure. Solomon Good. Good? Solomon Grundy. She goes to Solomon Grundy's house. Solomon Grundy want pants too. Remember that? <laughs> Do you remember those bumpers on Cartoon Network? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, but she goes to the house and she's like, someone killed the witch. And he's like, oh, no. <laughs> How many people did you tell? <laughs> it's always a warning sign. When someone in a movie gets relayed some horrible information, they go, who knows about this? They're the bad guy. Mm -hmm. That's uh, how Tony talks to me all the time when we do things. He's like, oh, yeah, did you tell Ryan? And I'm like, why? You're acting very suspicious right now. <laughs> I'm not shocked. <laughs> <laughs> um. But yeah, so he like fends off boner guy. He's like, yeah. get out of my house, boner guy, and take your boner with you. <laughs> That's a line. Yeah. <laughs> and then the guy's like, it's 1666. Yeah. I don't know what a boner is. Yeah. R.L. Stein was very ahead of his time in progress. Very ahead yeah. of his time. Uh, I didn't see the Goosebumps movies. Didn't Jack First one was Black? okay. Jack, yeah, Black. Jack, Jack Black played him, yeah. Did he come back for the second one? Yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. They're okay. The first one was about like slappy. Can Jack Black come in this one? He should. No. Yeah. I love Jack Black. No, not modern Jack Black. He sucks. Oh, he I did. love all Jack Black. His YouTube channel sucks. I think your YouTube, your YouTube channel. <laughs> We're both having a very my, Your YouTube channel my sucks. My YouTube channel sucks. Yeah. All right, well, this is Johanna's last episode, everyone. <laughs> no, because that's going to mean it's going to leave a spot for more crystal, and I don't, oh I don't have God. the patience. <laughs> it's less crystal. 
That's I see the comments oh all the God. time. It's yeah. always like we want less crystal. Yeah, that, less there's crystal. a guy who wrote a book who's always like less crystal, less crystal. The creator of universes was the book, yeah. and he's always saying less crystal. <laughs> I think that's the name. Of oh this. my God. <laughs> um. Yeah. So where are we at here? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. She goes into the basement mm -hmm. to hide from everyone, but then she finds the shrine to to the witch. Well, I guess not to the witch, but she to finds the, the evil shrine, and yeah. then he's there, and he's like. I did it. I killed the witch and put the curse on the town so I could benefit from it because life was really mean to me. And Fortune never shined on him, no matter yeah. all of his praying. See, Tony? That's why I should give my life to Satan. No, because in the afterlife, which for you could be any day, in you will the, be treated. <laughs> in the afterlife, you'll be heading for the normal day. And to do, well, how'd that song go? Right? I don't know what song Remember, you're singing now. Squirrel Nut Zipper had a song. They were like, I don't know who that is. In the afterlife, I, you will be heading for the dirty life. You're having a boomer moment. Oh. day, but oh. tomorrow they'll be held to pay. Oh my god, I don't remember how it goes. Like there was a period. Of course, you two know the two pushing forty. No, well, there was a time in like the nineties when like swing music got real popular again. Oh yeah, that was weird. Remember that? Yeah, that didn't show up in this. If this was. Fear Street 1998, they would be like, yeah, I just been doing swing music for a couple months. Hey, everyone, I'm Brian Seltzer. And he just walks by <laughs> the camera. And even the director was like, did you know he was coming? <laughs> so, yes, his plan is. Uh, Brian Seltzer, not Seltzer. His whole plan is I possess a member of the town. Mm -hmm. I give them to Satan. And he's like, I sacrifice one person so we can thrive. She's like, that one person killed like 30 people. And he's like, yeah, I guess I got, you know, you got to take the good with the bad. Um, and then for some reason, a heart shows up from hell. Yeah, but at least they explain it. I guess they explain yeah. it. There's a heart that just shoots up black goo and makes bad guys for him. Uh, he writes their name on the wall. So he's choosing who goes on yeah. the wall. Mm -hmm. How he's picking them, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's just random. Probably could have picked someone other than the pastor. I feel like that's going to bring a lot of heat down on you. Like, you know. That's why they don't kill Black Widow. Exactly. So the Avengers don't show up. No one gets that because they didn't watch our Black Widow <laughs> review. It's fine. <laughs> Uh, but it turns out she, he's the one who cut off her hand. Yeah, it so, got very, it got like super evil dead for a minute. Yeah. Like the camera rack zooms and stuff yeah. like mm. that. So then I remembered, I'm like, oh, wow, they're retconning everything mm -hmm. that we know. And I'm like, oh, right. This is a modern movie. So witches aren't allowed to be bad anymore. Because mm -hmm. every fucking girl thinks they're a witch when they go through high school and college. They get real into witchcraft and they watch the can craft. We review, yeah, I was going to say, can we review the craft? The new one? Sure. Oh, yeah. They let's watch the new one. <laughs> and you know what? Let's watch the remake of uh, Black Christmas while we're at it. Yeah. Which yeah. one? There's two. <laughs> no, no. The, the new one. The new, the one new one. Yeah. Oh, where, our audience would love that Toxic one. masculinity creates like an evil black goo that like turns people evil. There was no supernatural stuff in the previous Black Christmas. Yeah. Speaking of men being gross, uh, Solomon dropped the love bomb on a uh, good old Sarah Fear. Oh, oh yeah, you're still, talk, you're still talking about this movie, aren't you? Yeah, I tried to bring it back. Oh. Anyway. Uh, We're talking about the movie. What do you mean anyway? <laughs> Did you know that in Dreams uh, 666? <laughs> we are the so upside down. <laughs> <laughs> you're the only one with energy. We're just like... <laughs> Yeah, Fear Street. <laughs> I, I have more stories about uh, poop. Pooping. No, no, we're good. We're, we're good on poop stories. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Pooping. Pooping. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I was like, oh, yeah. So girls love witches and everyone wants to pretend that witch. I know in real life there were no witches and they were wrongfully accused. I get that. But mm -hmm. like, we're not allowed to have like traditional like bad guy witches anymore. They all have to be like tragic good guys. Well, no. <sighs> Did you see Gretel and Hansel? Gretel and Hansel Witch Hunters? No, Gretel. that's Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunter. I have that on Blu-ray. I've never watched that's it. That's Hansel and Gretel. Gretel and Hansel was with the little red-headed girl from... Uh, from it. Oh, from, from it. it, yeah. That was actually pretty good. It was, like, visually, like, fucking awesome. And the witch in that was the woman who's the Borg Queen. Oh, right. Who's also in... I, I like the Vavitch. Yeah. No, I yeah. mean... People were like, good for her at the end for getting rid of whatever. Like, but like, but the other witches were clearly evil. They were mashing like, up babies into a pole. Yeah. That reminds me of Midsummer because, well, uh, you I know, everybody's like, oh, like, you know, girl power. And it's just like, no, like, this is terrible I for told, both of them. I, said, I got yelled at on Twitter because I said that uh, <laughs> Midsummer is Joker for white women. <laughs> <laughs> and people were like, Whoa. you know what? Like, You're not wrong. I know. Yeah. I'm usually I do not. love Midsummer, though. No, no, it's good. Her I... boyfriend did nothing wrong in that movie. I don't want to point. He that. was an asshole. Nah. No, he should have just broke up with her and then that was it. 
But he didn't do it. He, he could have waited a little bit longer. I mean, the, the sister. Joanne, I don't know if you've ever dated someone who was mentally unstable. It's really hard to break up with them. It's really hard to break up with them. Because then they'll, like, hack your YouTube channel. It turns into a whole thing. Anyway. I find it's just uh, better to take the person you were in the relationship for the longest and just keep them working with you in YouTube stuff. Because then it's like you can keep an eye on them. What's it like? Keep your, your uh, enemies friends close. close your friends your enemies closer, closer. Enemies closer. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> she's a finally, she's all bleeding out. Yeah. So she didn't put her hand there to curse the town, but I guess she kind of does at the yeah. end. Uh, but she's like, hi, I'm going to save you, Hannah, or whatever. And then Solomon's like, I got the witch. She's right here. I know I was defending her a couple scenes ago, but then she figured out my master plan. Also, I'm not a bad guy. And they're like, "What? that's a weird thing for him to say, but you know what? I agree with him. <laughs> I do I like, like I like the cut of his jib. <laughs> jib. I do like the play on their last names, by the way, that Solomon Good is the evil one. Mm -hmm. oh, and then yeah. Sarah Fear, she's actually the good one. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the bad guy in my film getting on the sli slide? His name was Vince Volgerstein. And then there's like a thing where he's like, why are you so mean? And he goes, my name, my last name's Volkerstein. I didn't have a choice. <laughs> we were making fun of how George Lucas Wasn't names. he just saying it like we keep going off topic and then he brings in I, his own stuff to plug? I, I, I see his, like when I see his mouth is moving, I just, my mind goes other places. Mm -hmm. I try to find the next like song from the 80s or 90s I can quote. Um, Some like Happy Place. Happy Place, yeah. <laughs> So they're about to hang the girls. Yeah. And Sarah's like, I love Hannah. She's like, hey guys. Hannah did nothing wrong. I clouded her mind, and I'm I'm an evil witch, and I love the devil, and we're best friends, and we hang out. And he taught me how to go down on girls, and all the men are like, go down. What? I'm not. I'm unfamiliar. Women are allowed to have pleasure. <laughs> what? I gave Don't her like an orgasm. Today. <clears throat> I gave oh, her an yeah. orgasm, and oh, then I've every heard. every woman's like, what is that? Yeah. <laughs> Can my husband give me one of those? No, shut up, witch! <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe we're living in the same timeline. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So, yeah, she confesses everything. As she's dying, yeah. she vows to take revenge on the town yeah, until they figure out the truth. That's when we start to actually see the real Seraph here, too. Yeah, we start to see the actual one. And she actually has the accent and stuff. Yes, and then Dina snaps out of it. Now, what did you guys think of this opening? Because a lot of people are saying it drags too much and they didn't like it. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. It, uh, it, it fills in the gaps. It creates a, a, an actual narrative that links everything together, but it went on way too long. Yeah. It could have been yeah. condensed a little mm -hmm. bit. Yeah. yeah. But when I saw this was almost two hours long, I was like, well, excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> so Sheriff Good is in on it still. He's bad. Even though in the 70s... Good is evil! So the sheriff is in on it. I thought the whole... Maintain the family legacy was being a cop, but no, it is uh, cursing the town. Mm -hmm. And I love the little backstory where they show like all his previous yeah. ancestors cursing the town, and they all look exactly alike. Yeah. Thought that was interesting. <laughs> In reading, uh, but yeah, so this explains why Sunnyvale, not the trailer park for Trailer Park Boys, that that one's still cursed. Yeah, but Sunnyvale has all this good luck because they're cursing the town of mm -hmm. Shady Side, so they can benefit from it. Now, I feel bad for the people who moved into Sunnyvale or are not in on the curse and they just happen to have things go well for yeah. them. And it's like, oh, well, they're not really to blame. Well, it's like, wait a minute. I went to college. I like made something of myself. But now I find out that all my hard work was because if I so like if somebody said like, hey, man, you don't have to worry about it. Like a fucking witch shit happened. So your life's <laughs> going to be good. I'd be like, oh, well, why the fuck am I trying then? Let's just roll <laughs> back and fucking kick up and enjoy this shit. I want to uh, poop in more pools. <laughs> <laughs> so they steal his car. Yeah. Maybe a witch put a curse on you. I could see that. Yeah, I, I have Newt. What? I have Newt. I have Newt? Yeah, like witches, I have Newt. Are you serious? Witches aren't real, and I don't care witches about Witches are real. No, they're not. They're like when you told me that mummies weren't real, and then I went to a museum and I saw one. I never you said mummies weren't liar. real. No, yeah, you did. <laughs> what did I see, say? You mummies? tried to take credit for mummies mm -hmm. by making mummy cop. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I and made mummies. It's cool. a liar all along. Uh, yeah. No, Rachel Vice made mummies. Yeah, cool. she did. <laughs> and sexy. Rachel Vice, she was in Black Widow, but her fans don't know because they didn't watch the episode. Yeah. <laughs> so they tell Ziggy about Sheriff Good. Yeah. And she's not taking the news that well. She's like, oh, man. Yeah, she has that, like, long flash. That's another thing. She didn't have to have that long flashback either. Like, we no. get it. You Why were, like, Why did he close. leave her the it's happening again note? Did he leave that for her? Well, yeah, and I think it's more of like a misdirection kind of thing, so we don't think he's the but bad did, guy. Did she got the note, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was her. Uh, for a minute, I'm like, did he give that to someone else? I don't know why that? he would clue her in on it. Or he, it was supposed to go to the person in the after credit scene. 
Yes, we'll get to that. Yeah. Um, Probably they reunite with the that. janitor. We forgot to mention earlier that the janitor got like a little note. Yeah. Or he like uh, gave the dude his card mm-hmm. for giving him like the pick to get out of his lock. Yeah. So like they just roll up and they're like, hey, you want to kill Sheriff Good? And he's like, he's he's like yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that seems like a jump though. Like, oh, you keep arresting this guy for spray painting, so I'm going to murder him. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, yeah, so they plan on trapping all the killers yeah. inside the stores with the uh, metal cages and mm-hmm. uh the gates. I said, gate, gate cages the- i called out the one thing because the very first episode they showed that the gate didn't go all the way down i'm like oh there's gonna be a scene where like it doesn't go down and it's gonna be tense for five seconds and then they're gonna forget about it and but it, I, happened. it doesn't make sense because literally like i had a store in a mall and you'd stick your key in and you unlock it and then you just pull the gate up yep. and you go down like it doesn't get stuck in the middle especially in 19 fucking 94 like some <laughs> of them have the ones where you put the key in and it goes Burr. it takes forever going yeah. up yeah but like still you could like it has a fail safe and you just you yep. know, yeah yeah so they try to do the blood thing I don't think again. this movie's very realistic no it's not how much blood do these chicks have in their body like i know they're yeah, mixing yeah that was a lot of blood i know they're mixing it with water but that, you need a lot got, of blood. We could have gotten lucky and this movie took place at a specific time of the month. You don't even bleed that much for that. I don't, I've never. Unless you collected all for that week. Well, that's what I've been doing. <laughs> <laughs> I just let it dry and I hit it with a hammer. Tampons are expensive. <laughs> so you gotta get a cup. Yeah, this yeah. is Newt's yeah. last yeah. episode. You yeah. pop it out and you already have some in there. So you go, so I, That's why I always smell like low tide at the pier. <laughs> So what did this series, I'm sorry, trilogy of films, what did the series forget to do the entire time? Poop in the pool. Poop in the pool. It forgot to mention video games. Oh, it, yeah. It, it's trying to nostalgia bait everyone like uh, Stranger Things, but I forgot to mention video games. They showed him play Castlevania once. Mm-hmm. That's not enough. So then he's like, hey, sister, here's the Konami code. I say it all the time when I'm, when I'm sad. and are stressed. And then I said, as I was watching the TV, I'm like, no, you don't. You haven't said it once, once. in this He trilogy. says it in his head. Because <laughs> if he was whispering to himself, yeah. they'd kill him like the pastor, you know? Yeah, yes. I thought that scene was fucking stupid. Yeah, like, I, was... I get they like, oh, we forgot to do too much. Vid- we didn't do enough video game stuff. It's like, okay, you don't mm-hmm. have to mention video games. It's fine. They're Urkel. for children. They call him Urkel. They do call him Urkel. I did, did like that. Did you see the video recently with Urkel and Snoop Dogg for Purple Urkel? No. And it's like a weed. That's funny. I did. Yeah. I did. And Jaleel White came back and played Urkel again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's funny. So they set up their trap. Uh, cops interrupt for a little bit, but then the killers come and kill the cops, which yeah. I don't know if Sheriff Good planned that out <laughs> well <laughs> enough. Yeah, they made the whole mall look like uh, fucking like black light. Yeah. A lot and, of neon. Yeah, a lot of neon. We should have did some neon, but I was too busy. Day glow. Uh, yeah, you're so busy. <laughs> I watched all three movies again. Yeah. I watched all three movies and I dealt with a swamp all weekend long. Did I ruin my shoes and my pants? <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. Well, that's true. So they corner all well, the Well, that killers. was a bathing suit. Totally different. Yeah. <laughs> so they trap all the killers. And aren't they like liquid metal goo? Why don't they just walk through walk the Walk through gate? the bars? Yeah. yeah. Why? What's the point of being liquidy if yeah. you can only use it after you die? I was waiting for the special effect of them just going through it. And then they would be like, that's like the term. Terminator, which came out two years ago, they would say something like that. Yeah, uh, they Maybe didn't mention Alien. The they didn't mention Alien Three once in this. No, nineteen ninety four. Well, because they didn't have YouTube to search it. Oh right. Yeah, <laughs> it's the second time you mentioned Alien Three. Uh, <laughs> you know what? You haven't mentioned Dark Knight Rises yet. And I haven't. Why? Mentioned Dark Knight Rises. How does this third entry compare to Dark Knight Rises? You know, <laughs> is it also if the a best? time machine ever exists? I'm going back in time to make sure that I also go because I almost went. And then you didn't. I'm going to go back in time to the moment that Tony was conceived and <laughs> scream and scare his dad to go flaccid and save the suit of the future. <laughs> Why don't you do it so you're his dad? Oh my God. No. Anyway. <laughs> So she gets to do it. Can you imagine? Like, so uh, by she the way, gets we to need do, to do her a paternity test because uh, she gets to do her carry. Imagine that. Then we do the Wishmaster episode. And I was like, hey, there's been something I've been trying to tell you for a long time. <laughs> Go ahead, do your little bit with the gem in there and the Kieran thing. But I'm your dad. <laughs> Go to bed. <laughs> so Ziggy gets to do her carry thing that she wanted to do in the 70s uh-huh. but wasn't able to and she spills the well, blood I mean she did it but with bugs she spills the blood on Sheriff Good mm-hmm. 
and then all the killers want to kill him. And I thought that was a pretty cool twist. Yeah, it was cool. But then he like gets out of it pretty quick. Because he grabs Ziggy and some of the blood gets on her. Yeah, yeah. And then he like runs away to what used to be the old church that also leads to the underground cavern. Mm -hmm. Dina chases after him. And then the uh, the other people, they get a cool idea to just spray blood on all the killers so they kill each other. Oh, that was pretty cool. That scene was pretty, yeah. pretty cool. Uh, they're just like ripping each other. I love when it cuts back. They're all just dismembered. Do you ever see the movie The Video Dead? No. Where like these people get a TV and like zombies come out of the TV. So they lock all the zombies in the basement and they like eat each other instead of eating <laughs> other people. <laughs> um, but then they remember the writer went, oh, yeah, there was two more monsters. We have to remember to. Include yes, those. the two little there kid was too monsters. many fucking monsters because Ruby and the little kid monster were really cool. Yeah. And they didn't use them at all. But they used like the dude who looks like Wickedy Cricket from It's Always Sunny. And uh -huh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sam also breaks out of her confinement mm -hmm. and chases somehow. after Dina. Yeah, uh, somehow. Uh, and when they're down there, th they find the beating heart. Mm -hmm. And she makes Sheriff Good touch the beating heart, which mm -hmm. shows him like all the wrongdoing his family's ever done. Yeah. And then Sam attack attacks Dina, but it's the whole I know you're still in there thing that hasn't worked once on any other killer. Did it, it and but it worked this time. If people had watched Black Widow, that happens in Black Widow as well. They but they don't know but that because they, 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 they didn't watch a Black yeah. Widow mm -hmm. episode. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they do the whole, like, the power of love saves them for, power like, a second. Power of love the power is of a love. curious thing. Uh, and then what happens? Oh, yeah, she uh, stabs Sheriff Good in the eye. It was great. Which is great. The worst scene in the movie. No, it was terrible good. scene. Yep. Don't like it. Best terrible, scene. terrible, 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 terrible scene. No, it was great. Worst best way best. to end a trilogy, I No, think. it was wonderful. <laughs> uh, and then the evil demon heart just sinks back into hell. Mm -hmm. It's like, all right, well, I'm Bye. done. Uh, and no one, when they built the mall, looked under there and went, that's weird. Yeah. So does this mall not have like plumbing? Because don't you have to have like fucking pipes and shit underground? Yeah. It's a good question. Yeah. Uh, you know Answer what? me, R.L. Stein. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. The the names disappear from the wall. The mm -hmm. witch's mark disappears, and then they they find another cat. How big are these fucking caverns? I yeah. feel like they're walking for a while. Uh, they take a secret passage that leads to the sheriff's house, which I thought was kind of funny. I love because, you know, he's like a Satan. It's, he just has goats everywhere. Mm -hmm. And then inspirational 90s posters. Yeah. Like, Courage, be yourself. And, and they then also have goats. the family tree. Yeah. And then the fa yeah, the family tree and everything. We should start making inspirational ones with Tony. It's like him hanging from a tree and says, hang in there, <laughs> yeah, baby. I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Sunnyvale just gets bad luck. Yeah. Like the, the neighbors yeah, get hit he, by a truck. As soon as he backs out, there's a truck and yeah. just destroys it. And then him. they're like, Sunnyvale sucks now. Uh, after that guy got hit by a truck, he created the jump to conclusion mat. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that is the worst idea in the history of bad idea. <laughs> Good things can happen to you. I'm living proof. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta do office space yeah. at some point. Um, yeah, so Sunnyvale, they're like, everything sucks in Sunnyvale now. Also, the sheriff was a murderer. Mm -hmm. We all know about it. Um, they visit Sarah Fear's grave mm -hmm. and have a lesbian makeout session. With burgers and shakes. With burgers and shakes. That's uh, where I, I take there wasn't to a new mm. There wasn't a new slurring character. It's actually cool to hang out in a cemetery. I did that before. Oh, yeah. They're very pretty. There wasn't a third slurring character. No, but they all spoke with bad accents. Yeah, Dina slurs her words. You know the actor who played Alice, right? The one who slurs their words. The second person who slurs yeah. their words. They are the <laughs> sibling of Ty Simpkin. The guy from the little kid from Iron Man three and Jurassic World and Insidious. Oh, because I kept looking at their face and I was like, "Why do they look so familiar?" I'm like, "I've seen this face, but not on this body." I'm like, "Oh, they look exactly okay. alike, right?" Yeah, because I'm looking. I'm like, "I know who they are," and I thought that they were somebody else. Yeah, but yeah, because I looked up their IMDb and I didn't recognize <laughs> anything, and I'm like, "How do I know them?" And then it's like, "Oh." Their brother is that kid that I've seen. The kid who was in Avengers Endgame, but he aged too much, so no one knew who he was at the funeral. They're like, I thought it was like, one of the, like is, was that a mistake? Was that like the, one of the producer's kids? Well, everyone was green screened into that shot. True. So maybe someone wandered onto the green screen. They forgot to delete it. It's him. like the dude in the fight scene in Ninja Turtles who couldn't get off the shot quick enough, so he's just crouched down in the corner. <laughs> but yeah, I remember seeing Endgame, and I'm like, who's that? And I'm yeah. like, like, oh, that was years ago. You and gotta you remind all the us. articles to be like, yeah, that's who that was. I'm like, you gotta remind me who that is. I'm not gonna know. Like, they, they've aged a lot since then. And there's been 67 movies since yeah. then. Yeah. Like, but anyway, there is not a third person that slurs their words. No. 
Like Dina, Dina's voice was really weird, right? Mm-hmm. By the way, they're super Christian. I looked at their Instagram. Oh, really? And I'm like, very, very Christian. Newt probably hates this actress now. Anyway, uh, the lesbian makeout. Everyone's happy. What's his face? Finds his internet girlfriend. Yeah. The, the queen of whatever. Darkness. Something darkness, yeah. Yeah, and the guy's trying to sell radios to beat Walkmans. And she's like, you need a solid state drive. And it's like, oh, he's going to make MP3s. I guess. Uh, he also kind of reminded me of Dougie Doug. Remember Dougie Doug <laughs> yeah. from the nineties? Yeah. And then the red, the red uh, moss didn't die. That was weird, there. right? That the red moss should have gone away. I think so because they show when she cursed the town, the mm-hmm. red moss went everywhere. Yeah. So you think it would go away? Yeah. And then uh, who cleaned the mall? That's what I was wondering. Yeah, I wrote that in my mm-hmm. notes. I said, wait a minute, who cleaned like? The- because even clearly it, not the janitor no yeah <laughs> but it's just like uh and also they were like why are those kids allowed to go to school there were security cameras in 1994 and they're yeah. like hey i get you guys were uh fighting fucking uh monsters and all but uh you know, get a fucking wash bucket and a, and, a, <laughs> and a mop uh but it zooms down all the way to the evil shrine mm-hmm. and uh the sheriffs were there all the evidence is still there. They There's didn't take the tape. book. They didn't take the book, but someone takes the book, and we don't know who it is. No. That's what I was like when uh, Dina and um, Sam walked out, and I'm like, you don't want to take that book with you so you can burn it or something? Like maybe it won't burn, like a Necronomicon. Maybe, yeah. I don't. but no, they like could I try. like crime scenes. I get it, but like there would be people down there doing that shit, and yeah. if they had to leave it, they would like not. The mall would be closed. Yeah, there was no. There'd be no possibility that people could get under there and tamper with a crime scene yeah or i mean to be fair the police department was just murdered it's and true. their sheriff turned yeah. out to be a horrible person so they're they're but probably the, not working they're probably working with a bunch of rookies that don't know how to do it they're like the oh people in this town have proven themselves to be pretty uh good like the girl knew how to drive an ambulance and a cop car with no that's practice true. whatsoever that's you true. know that's true yeah anyway that was fear street yeah kind of went out with a whimper I thought it was fine. Yeah, I'd, I'd watch it. Yeah. I enjoy it. I don't know anything about the book. Are the books all interconnected, or are they like Goosebumps, where it's like a different story? I think it's a bunch of different stories. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I thought you read books. Aren't you the book reader of the group here? So yeah, that was Fear Street. I liked it. I definitely see. I, can they just be a series? This whole trilogy of films. I'm like, yeah. I feel like they just didn't know how to chop it up into like 30, 40 minute episodes. Mm-hmm. So they're like, this is a movie, but it's not really a movie. I would have liked to have seen just more of the killers. Like I would have liked to see more of the little boy and the Ruby and, Lane. Yeah, Ruby Lane. If it like I said in the when we talked about it earlier, it feels like they took a series and then like abridged it. Mm-hmm. It feels like we're not seeing all of it. Uh so yeah, it would have been cool to see more of like yeah. the ice, the what is it, the milkman killer. Yeah. I want to know what his deal was. You know, you guys, when you did 13 Ghosts, you didn't ask me to be on it. Um, I would have liked to have seen... I'm I'm looking at you on this one. (laughs) Um, I would have liked to have seen more of, like, those characters' backstories and stuff like that. Because even when he's got the super soaker, it reminded me of when they were spraying the blood on the fucking dumpster. Junkyard. Well, we mentioned in that review that the DVD gives you all the background stories. I know, but I talk about some of the backgrounds. I don't watch ones I'm not in. Same. (sighs) It's fine. (laughs) I know nothing of your work. <laughs> How would you rank these? Because I would say two, one, three. Oh, 100%. Yeah, yeah. I okay. agree. Yep. Yeah, two, one, three. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, I like the Jason looking killer mm-hmm. the most. And I love that Friday 13th can't do anything. No. Because they stole the sack idea. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, I, I would like to see more. I would like to see more. What did you guys think? Are you guys going to watch this video? <laughs> yeah. Please watch this. Please video. watch this video. Every <laughs> every Monday night and Thursday night, I just I just get sadder. And every sadder. Monday and Thursday, look, look, watch the videos every Monday and Thursday. Podcast feed. We have the podcast feed. That's where our voicemail segment is. Mm-hmm. Unless you're on Patreon, then you get the video version of the voicemail segment. You get mailbags. You get Tubi Tuesday, which we're bringing back. You get what else do you get on Patreon, Newt? A bunch of stuff. Exactly. You get yeah. a bunch of stuff on Patreon. You get me. Yes, and uh, go to hackthemovies.com. Every I'm unsubscribed. <laughs> <laughs> every episode of hackthemovies.com on the website now has the video and audio. Mm-hmm. I've added the video to all of it, which yeah. we should have done from the beginning, but we did it now. And a five year old uh, from Texas likes us. Why don't you like us? Why don't you like us? Well, I told you about my nephew for the uh, Irish one mm-hmm. with you with the lucky terms yeah. and all that. He had to keep rewinding that part when you. What did you say? Uh, it's time to like oh, shamrock, shamrock shake, shake my, ass. Yeah, shake yeah. my yeah. ass. Yeah, he yeah. kept rewinding that part. So 
if you look at that video and you just see people just watching like for the first like 10 <laughs> seconds, it's because it's my nephew. I am everyone's favorite part of these. <laughs> it's true. So, yeah. so Johanna. What? How about them giant monsters from Japan? Those movies are fun, right? Is there a podcast where we can hear you and maybe a handsome guy talk about giant monster movies? No, because it's on forever hiatus. Well, when we're back from hiatus, also check out Castle versus <laughs> the Pod Monster before Johanna goes on 10,000 more vacations. <laughs> I went on two vacations. Because speaking of new Netflix stuff, we're currently going through episodes of Singular Point over there. So check that out and we will see you all later. Goodbye. Bye. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page.